Firework in the sky. Pyro spots can fly twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. It's Pyro Spot Fireworks. All right. Uh, okay. The take a look at a book part. I didn't have anything for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just went right to reading Rainbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely going to get sued. You can say take a look on the screen. No, take no, a look no, on no. the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Did, uh, take a take, uh, a take a look. A, uh, oh. a glean. Craig's not a crook. Oh. It's Pyro Spot Fireworks. Oh, he texted me. He said, uh, don't say that. Yeah. He, he, he said it infers he, he, that he could possibly be a crook. <laughs> He's like, don't. Why would you even? Why would you even plant the seed? Oh. <laughs> why would you plant this? Why would you even use the word crook in the ad? It doesn't make any sense. You don't want that that to even set in people's minds. Here's the thing: wherever you're listening to this, even if you're outside of Florida, you should drive. Oh yeah, Pyrospot is the new Georgia it is. of fireworks. It is. <laughs> when I was a kid, we my dad drove me past the Florida oh, state yeah. line. We had to go up into the Carolinas to get hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. to get fire. And you don't need to do that anymore. Longwood and Eustis are two pyro spot locations. I want they have fireworks. The yeah. Yeah, yeah, I want fireworks.com. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah, go on their website if you need to. But uh, I'm telling you, get there early because Craig literally bought a shit ton of fireworks. You can say that. We he, can say that. He told us uh, on ACTs, on Friday's ACT, that uh, he that he's selling more fireworks than he ever has. Well, he knows even the, more than the, the middle of a pandemic, yeah. which was a record year. He knows that the good stuff too is already spoken for. Like there are going to be guys that that are already going to beat you in line, so you're going to have to go early. Yeah, yeah. To get the good stuff, you're going to have to. I'm going this weekend, um, and uh, you should go too yeah, if I'm you want by. the best cakes, the best mortars. He said there's a you know a low supply of mortars. Basically, there's a firework shortage everywhere because yeah. the demand is so high. You can listen to the interview. It was on a corporate time, but um, one of the more interesting things he said is it's going to take him three to four years to catch up on supply and demand of fireworks. Yeah. So, but they got him now. He's got, got a up. bunch. He's got like, him now. Well, because two years in the making, he's been ordering these things in yeah. preparation. So you got to hit those two locations. Go to IWantFireworks.com. It's Pyro Spot Fireworks. Take a look. It's in a book. Pyro Spot. No crooks. Could be. <laughs> Possibly. Live from the Streamline Mortgage Solutions Studio, it's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Whoopee! Hello, this is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke heavy, and just right. Thanks. to the Friday free show of a mediocre time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is TD Friday. Wah, wah, wah. I've always wanted to say that. Welcome to Titty Friday, everybody. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha's here. Butler's here. We have a very special guest, one of our oldest and most beloved listeners of all time. Ron is here. Thank you for having me, everybody. Yeah. Last we saw Ron, he was... Well, we've seen him since then, but yeah. our favorite memory of Ron is... <laughs> yeah, half naked in a cornfield, whipping a bull, <laughs> whipping yeah. a bull whip, and all his muscly might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At one of our first BDM uh, only parties, the original the first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, soaking wet. Oh yeah, yeah. man, weren't we all? Oh, it was, a, it was rough. <laughs> Monsoon. Yeah. Uh, there's it people there with uh, ankle bracelets. Yeah, we're yeah. yeah. we're yeah. talk about it. Steve Mooney was driving uh, drunk, and we had to stop him. <laughs> no pull him. name names. Yeah. Yeah. Don't dox him. We, no, no, no. Fine. You had to pull him out of his car. No, he yeah. slept it off at the field. Yeah, we had fine. to pull him out of his car, though. I had yeah, to wake yeah. him up. He was behind the wheel with it running. I did see a crack pipe in a car. <laughs> no, not Steve. Don't, don't talk oh, about that. Oh, oh, my God. You took it too far. You told me not to talk about it. Then you started going into the crack pipe. No, no, no. It was a lady. It was a lady. You know, I have not seen her since that event. 
keep, oh keep secrets, man, I knew we lost a BDM. You sure it wasn't weed in the crack pipe? No, Some, oh, okay. Okay. weed in the crack pipe. Because sometimes you only difference, buddy. Sometimes you only have your crack okay, pipe. And you want to get high, Ron? Right? You're you've been with us a very long time. What percentage of our listeners do you think smoke crack? 20, 20, 20. 20. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm finding out a lot today. <laughs> okay. That's why the BDMs Eventually, are dropped off. <laughs> or, or, or just like, you know, every weekend. Oh, no, every he's right. He's, oh, yeah. Every other, right. You yeah, can do just, it every other weekend. Yeah, 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 it's, it's called crack Yeah, crack recreational. Yeah. So, uh, Ron, how you been? <laughs> I've been blessed. I live in L.A. now. Yes, I heard. Yeah, yeah we I heard. Big uh, Hollywood um, star. You're looking good, man. Thank you very much. I do kettlebells after. But you can tell. <laughs> um, but... California's locked was been locked down. It's not open, baby. So yeah, oh yeah, not, not open at all. Yeah, um, yeah. just open while I was over here. So I just wanted to get out, and I was I couldn't come in April because you know Florida was too open for me. Yeah, yeah so so I got my vaccination. And I came over here, and now I'm just going to see everybody. I'm trying to maneuver online. I don't know where to go anymore. I didn't use Google. I'm, I feel inept about that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm having a good time. Awesome. I'm partying. I'm doing AV work and. <laughs> The world's my oyster. Mm. Give, me, give me all the ass to fist. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll talk to you about fist that. <laughs> this is TD Ass Fisting Friday. Yeah, it's Ass Fisting Friday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, that's right. Yeah, I, we, we never asked you when you were uh, standing in the field in our first BDM party. Uh, I don't with even a know. Whip. I don't um, even know. First of all, I don't know how you got shirt shirtless, off. but I'm guessing because you're wet and you're just like, well, yeah. fuck I, I'm shirtless it. half the time I'm drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, but you're he's a, a muscly man, so take your shirt off. Fine. I, I like it. I like shirts. Though. I don't like wearing a shirt. I don't. I, I love being naked. Me too. Was it uh, whose whip was that? Yeah, <laughs> like, did someone, thank you. What right. listener brought a whip? No, a friend that I came with. He he's been living in the land. His his grandfather was a whip master. And I won. He died unfortunately before I become his apprentice. But he wanted to bring a whip, so I brought. He he whipped it. I was just playing around with it, and I cause I, I could not. Wait a minute! Your, the whip master died before you get apprentice <laughs> behind the whip master. Amazing. This is an amazing. <laughs> it's an epic tale. Uh, yeah. This is an epic, epic tale. You wanted an apprentice to become a whip master. Yeah, to to, to make whips and become a, that aficionado of whipping. Making because he was apparently famous and everything like that. And that's that's the story I was told to me. It's like, man, I wish I was part of that. You know, environment because I, I love me. I do archery. I do. I like to do whips and like different um, swords and stuff like that. So failed that. But I was like, why not bring it over? You don't know what's going on because we didn't know how a BDM event was no. going to go. No. So I was it like, was going poorly too, if I remember correctly. <laughs> <laughs> like, You're having a blast. No, 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 I re- if I remember correctly, uh, Scott. Uh, 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 yeah, I, Scott York was out there. Craig. Craig. Craig I helped Craig um, uh, make a t- um, when it started raining. I helped pull out a tent. I remember yeah. doing that. And some of our fireworks got rained on, and then some of the plywood <laughs> yeah. that they were floating on fell off into the dock and sunk to the bottom of Suggs. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. right. And then Mama Suggs and Daddy Daddy Suggs came out oh, there. She shook his hand. Bad, bad. Mama Suggs. <laughs> Was mad, mad. They, everybody's mad at us. We had an underage bartender with big titties. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. I was even. I was amazed by those titties. Yeah, those were some nice she wasn't underage. <laughs> well, I mean, normally she, she was under twenty-one. I think. But yeah, but not I got, under. No, I think you're supposed to be of eighteen uh, uh, to serve alcohol, right? No, what are think, you saying? And I think <laughs> she was She's an old teen. And it was. It was a different time. It was 2013. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Anyway, um, Ron. Then AJ was DJ, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Yes. And then he was dating a girl. But we at also the time. had uh, Jesse and- play, didn't we? Yeah, we had Jesse play in the beginning. Did we? I thought so. I thought uh, she played. A, she played like an hour did, at the nah. Sucks Farm. Yeah. She's getting nah. rained on. I don't. Uh, do you, what is she? I'm almost. I, think I must have been sure. hanging out with the teen bartender because I don't remember. Any of it. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. I do any remember any buying five kegs at uh, one Total Wine yeah. and then <laughs> driving the five kegs in the back of my old shitty truck, <laughs> thinking to myself, yeah. "There's we're two- shaking them up good, man. Either this is the beginning or the end. <laughs> no, uh, nothing else." Uh, so, Ron. Um, I, a lot of people maybe not uh, do not know this, but uh, you're one of probably I would say six or seven yeah. of our BDMs with a BDM tattoo. Oh, and yeah. uh, now I, I think you're the only BDM to have that tattoo uh, right on your pappus. Yes, that's uh, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, do you uh, get questions? About I, that? I was going to ask that. In LA, when you're banging dudes, yeah. do yeah. they say, yeah. what the fuck does this mean? <laughs> or do they headbutt it? <laughs> well, I mean, after I shave, yes. <laughs> oh. I, just, I, I say big dick millionaire because 
obviously just let it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, yeah, he's, yeah, the, yeah. he's also the only member. Uh, uh, I did the big dick. I yeah. did the big dick math. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. knew. Yeah. I knew. Yeah, I mean, you got two I out of knew. three for, for <laughs> sure. We know that. We know that. Yeah, yeah. I'm making LA money now, so I'm like, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fine. He's fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's 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 faded now, and like you know, shaving and everything. I don't shave as much because like not everybody. But over there, it's like let it be free now. Yeah, so, no, that's I a told new you. I told you. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we're yeah, trying yeah, to tell yeah. you Crocs and pubic hair are bad. I've been <laughs> telling this Why? That's the worst. My wife has a bush, and I'm really into it. I Just like name it. the two it, things I hate. I, I really like it. It's a, my wife has a manicured bush that is uh, no. chef's kiss. You, yeah. um, okay, as you always should know, I'm into bears mostly when I do when I do do I do female and male, but like when I go to male, I do bears. And they tend to be more hairy in nature, and like they like to be me be hairy. I'm I'm now a daddy bear because I'm like 40 years old. No, okay. Did you oh, realize you? he was 40 years old? You look yeah. good as fuck for 40. I thought like, he was younger than me. I thought you were like I, in your 20s, late 20s. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were 26. So <laughs> I was like, I no met bullshit. Ron I thought you were late 20s. I if, thought I thought you were 19. You could have you <laughs> you you told me 29 all day long, man. No, I, that's I'm like I, well done. I went to Deland High right when you left. I start. That's when I started. So oh, I got okay. to 99. So oh my god, yeah. Damn. So yeah, but my God, oh, I look like so, uh, uh, wrong. I have, <laughs> I have to keep it kind of kind of hairy there, so it, it kind of covers it up. But when I do shave ever so often, um, just because I got clean up over there, and mm. and people, then this guy suck my dick and everything like that, yeah, they yeah. do question it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then you just say big with dick the dick in their mouth. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like <laughs> or after, or after, I, after I nut on their, on their chin or something like that, yeah, 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 and, yeah. And, and, and put in a beard. Oh, God, like, you live a better life. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I want to nut on someone's face and have them ask me about my cock tattoo. Yeah. It's just a better way of living. What did I do? I go home and get yelled at by two women and they fight with each other and then I don't eat the dinner I want to eat and then I go to bed mad high as fuck. It's it's, it's a give and take. Do I want that? No. I don't want anybody yelling at me or anything, but it's fun just to go randomly and like, hey, hey. Let's suck each other's dick. Like, okay. <laughs> See, God, yeah, that's, that's pretty that, good. That is the best. I wish I was gay. I was built for it because I'm you awkward. Are, yes. <laughs> I'm not romantic, and I feel like I tell but my wife all the time. No, like, there's romance involved. Oh, oh. There's, there's, you're sad. Well, let's suck each other's dicks. <laughs> that's what I say <laughs> to my wife. Fuck you. Get away from me. The intimacy of sucking each other's dick is uh, it's. Profound sometimes. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, he's a number one in his life. I'm, yeah, I'm just saying when you when you tell time your wife, to... let's suck each other's dick, <laughs> and then she looks at you and goes, "Fuck you." <laughs> That's what you just said. Well, because That's I don't the know. The funniest and saddest thing I've ever heard said on the show. I don't. I think I'm... you need to have sex where it's fun, and then you can have fun with that person, and then keep doing it, and then you find intimacy in that. That makes sense to you? Yeah. No, I totally. don't know what you're saying, Ron. <laughs> like, he, like I just, he's not romantic. He, I, he doesn't understand the I get the, the sex fun. part. I know the, rom- the romance part. Oh, okay. He this just wants a the casual hookup. Is yeah, sex yeah, fun yeah. To I you? just want to go to a park. Is, is this a good fuck? <laughs> 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 you can do that. <laughs> yeah. There's what, two down the road. Okay. Get, well, I mean, you know, yeah, what, I got to go with my wife. If you're going I can't, there, you know, I got stuck, Ron. Okay. You're at, uh, I can't just go to the park. He's over here at Executive <laughs> Airport, want, Kittinger Park. You're behind, <laughs> you're, you're behind <laughs> a child's airplane <laughs> slide, <laughs> and you're butt-fucking a man. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and you're mad about it. staring into old Kittinger's eyes. <laughs> and you're mad and about I'm telling him, like, this That's got to hurt that old real man that people go to his park to butt because he was yeah. Kinger with the man that jumped out of the hot air balloon. Is he still alive? We I, talked yeah, to him. Yeah, he's one still time. alive, and uh, but he'll be dead when he hears this. <laughs> uh, it's mostly like you put your pants down and like you slap each other's dick around. And oh, <laughs> that's 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 I like that. that. That's good. It's, 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 I like slaps. <laughs> My friends like slaps. <laughs> Stinky little Joe. But if you, if you, if you, if you I think if you presented the crystal in a, in a right light. I, I, I liked I, I, beer. I still <laughs> like beer, but I did not drink beer to the point of blacking out. No, you did not. We didn't even ask you that. You didn't even tell us. <laughs> yeah, shut you up. did. Just obviously, shut, shut up. Like, you, uh, like everybody has. Anyway, um, so uh, wait, are you facing each other with your pants? Yes. So I'm facing you. You're facing me. Mm-hmm. Our pants are right above our knees. Mm-hmm. Our dicks are facing each other. We're slapping each other. <laughs> <laughs> like, you I, make I, out or like? Yes. You, why'd you go? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Most of the time, my hands are big enough so I can like, do it at the same time. And like we're making out, and like, uh, I'm a nipple guy. 
So no, I, right. I, I either force her, I either force her head on my nipple, <laughs> and I, I'm a finger in her ass. And oh, I, and oh, I, oh, I don't know. Oh, if Tom's into that. It gets intimate though. And, okay. like, and, and it's, it's fun. Uh, listen, I, it sounds fun. It sounds, fun. <laughs> it sounds more fun than I'm having. But, but <laughs> Chris, I, I think Crystal. The, how I know Crystal? Crystal is a beautiful creature to me. I oh. I have a. She's she's awesome. You gotta suck her nipples and figure out. That's what I'm trying. Yes, just like take her like when you go out to like. Colorado or something like that when the boys are asleep or something like that just walk, and do, walk in the stars look in the stars say Orion and stuff like that and then just <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. rub her ass a little bit yeah rub her when, when you said Colorado all I want to do is for you to take me to Colorado like uh, Sweet Tooth <laughs> 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 I'm not watching too. <laughs> uh, me and Ron, I'll put antlers on and then just let's go on an adventure. Because <laughs> when I hugged you when you came in, I was like, the only you thing. Feel I- safe, <laughs> you yeah. feel safe, You feel safe when you hug Ron. Right? Yeah. Yeah, was like, I think he got taller. I said this on, he, when he came to my like, house. I was like, you look like you got a foot tall. Yeah, yeah, he does. And when I hugged him, like, you know, my mom died, my dad's dead. Like, I don't have, like, I'm hugging you and I'm like, just make me your just baby. Yeah. Take us yeah. both, me and yeah. Dan, yeah. to go yeah. around. I want to go. I want to go. You can be the girl that, uh, the, you know, the, yeah. the teen that kills adults. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Um, yeah. Wait, are you I'm talking sorry. about Sam or Butler? It's a whole thing. Are we bringing I gotta, watch, I gotta watch <laughs> no. the show. I gotta watch the show. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. God. Hugging is a again when you embrace somebody, you have to share that energy. That you have to take and give. That's why I like to do when I hug, give hugs. So mm. that, maybe that's what you felt. Okay. And yeah. So I will be secure for you, and like I, I want to be your security blanket. Okay. I, right. I want to make that happen for you. Okay. I want to be your soul provider, <laughs> Michael Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> So, real quick, a couple business things. Um, no, I thought we got all the business out of That was a, oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. forgot. That was a business. Awesome. Um, so, uh, we okay, for a while, we were trying to figure out what to do with Samantha's old truck. Yeah. And uh, so, we were like, you know, sitting in her garage, right? And she's like, get this hunk of shit out of here. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm like, well, we got to do something with it. It's been like a, a, you know, it's been the show's truck for how many years now? Uh like, you know, uh, I want to say like maybe five. Four. When did we get that thing? Um, we got it. I thought we got it after we got the studio, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it's probably been like three, three, yeah, yeah, yeah four yeah. years, three years, maybe. So, uh, so then I was like, we should do something grandiose, whatever. So then it, we stumbled upon blowing it up, and there's a BDM that owns some property, yep. and then I talked to him. He's like, yeah, well, I blow up cars here all the time, and which then, is a weird thing to do all the time. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, I'm okay with yeah, it. Yeah. But if you have property in Florida, you blow cars up with. Right. That's the you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you shoot a lot of guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we were going to do that, and then uh, we, they were like, "Okay, let's blow it up and make a grandiose thing." But then, at, like after we did the coloring book promotion and raised money for Yellow Brick, um, and they were real appreciative of, of that, obviously, and they're like, "Thank you." It's been hard because uh, the pandemic, mm-hmm. we can't do any events, and we, you know, we need the money. So and then, then you were like, "Tell us how great we are," <laughs> and then the, you, you made them do it a couple more times. <laughs> so then I, I was like, "Well, if we blow up this truck, what is that really going to do? Like, it'll be a funny thing that people will watch uh, on the, you know, but it was nothing. It's it, like it'll." You know, I mean, it don't it, it wasn't do anything really. for us. Did you give me the wrong number? I may have. <laughs> uh, the girl answered, and she's like, uh, I don't know who you're talking about. I probably, uh, oh, I think I know. Man, or maybe he's get, is it the, is this supposed to be Tannerite Johnny? No, 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 no. His harem is so big. Here we go. <laughs> but, um, so... Anyway, I was I was like maybe we shouldn't blow it up because that's kind of a waste. Really, nothing, no one gets anything out. Yeah. Of it. Then I thought let's just auction it off for cha- charity. I see those billboards where the lady in the sailor outfit is saying donate your boat to handicapped people or something. Have you seen those? Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, because you could get a tax write off. Uh, oh, so it's like, oh, I thought handicapped people needed yeah. a boat. Or something. Like, <laughs> no, I, no, I didn't understand the math there. All right, it's like you you donate old old cars or boats or whatever, and you'll get a bigger tax write off than the damn thing mm-hmm. is worth, and that's the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Right there, you know. Gotcha. Anyway, so I was like, let's let's auction it off because Pop didn't put his glasses on and got the last two numbers wrong. <laughs> Sorry, uh, uh, what line? He's on line one. And um, and so Seth was going to be in here today, but. Uh, uh, apparently, um, he's, I started reading the text. He's like, I was at the doctor. I was like, no! Oh, my God. Not again. What's wrong with your so immune now, system, man? Now, he, he got a cold, and he got some strep throat or something. Oh How my. you doing, Everybody's Seth? Everybody's sick. Yeah, clean your fucking sink. <laughs> um, hi, guys. Um, are you sick? How sick are you, buddy? 
Uh, I don't have a fever right now or anything, but it feels like there's like it feels like there's like a razor blade in my throat. It hurts pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. I'm I, uh, sorry, man. So let's I hope, make you talk. I see a lot of people. <laughs> it's like as soon as we're yeah. open, maybe everybody getting cold I again. Know. I got one. I told you you should have kept wearing yeah. your mask. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, I'm better. Um, so, <laughs> uh, so, so Seth uh, didn't come in today because he's sick. I, I mean, wanted Seth to meet Ron, and I wanted Ron to uh, feel the heartbeat. Yeah, I wanted Ron <laughs> to feel Seth's heartbeat. By the way, uh, we got a lot of uh, emails from yeah, we did. straight up pussies that yeah. are like, I couldn't hear that. Oh my yeah, God. I can't turn it on. I can't listen to that. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. Uh, they just get there, oh like, oh, they were grossed out by yeah. them. I was like, oh, you baby, I, I you think big baby. I think it's the ultimate power yeah. move. In fact, I want to try it. They're yeah. going to love the first 10 minutes of this show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, Seth, um, uh, we decided to auction off Samantha's old truck. Um, because we figured, shit, uh, like, not only are used trucks, like, it's still... Technically runs. Yeah, um, I mean, it may good. need some work. Yeah, yeah like, exactly. it needs a little help. Yeah, yeah, like it'll start and it'll yeah, drive. Yeah. Transmission's going out, yeah, but it's yeah. not out yet. But uh, someone could mess around with it, use it, yeah. and I it, mean, it's good enough to drive to the park to pull your pants down, <laughs> <and> slap <laughs> some dicks around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I would use it. And we figured um, I'm going to start by whoever does buy the truck, and we'll put up the auction uh, next week or or whatnot. We're we're try- still trying to work that out what site we're going to use and all that. Um, but I want to throw it in. Whoever buys the truck, I'm going to put together a Tom Dan, uh, Tom and Dan boating adventure. Where Wait a I, minute. Is this a Tom Van boating adventure <laughs> no, or Tom and Dan? Tom and Dan. The whole show is invited. But, uh, he told me I had to wear a bikini. Which <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that should be. Wait a minute. I, I didn't say he had to. Yeah. I said it was optional. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> but then I put a, uh, three exclamation points next to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. optional. Uh, <laughs> asterisks by it. So, um, anyway, uh, we'll go out on the boat from the marina that my boat's at, yeah. which is the same place Oasis is at. Yeah. Big buoys. We'll go up to uh, Blue Springs. Oh, yeah. I'll take you to the log. We'll go down. Touch the log together. Yeah, come up, red uh, snapper. Then, then, then we'll come back, and then we'll do a short uh, pool party at Oasis Whoa! Bar. Um, dude, where I'm I'm pool party too? Where I'll yeah. buy you some drinks. Yeah, uh, pool party at the Oasis Bar. Uh, you know, oh. and then You'll get sick all over again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would suggest yeah. you get vaccinated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, two for one. one. I cannot guarantee <laughs> two for you one corona, corona shots. Uh, but anyway, um, so we're gonna start adding some other stuff too, just to. Uh, Sweeten the pot to get the most money for Yellow Brick, but we figured this would be the best thing. I love it. So the reason why Seth's on the line is because uh, with the auction, you want me to poop in the in the truck? <laughs> the, no, I didn't. Uh, well, actually, this I is, mean, I'd watch that. This is not even about Seth. No, uh, actually. Oh. Um, so uh, we need pictures of the truck, right, to put on the auction site, and uh, so I'm going to hire Tony. Moonjet to take some pictures. Moonjet and uh, you, guys, you guys, you just you just cut off for like fifteen whole seconds. I didn't hear anything you said. That's good. No, uh, it was fine. Uh, I haven't gotten to the question yet, but basically, oh. we need pictures of the truck to put on the auction site. And so you've hired Tony Moonjet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to, to, yeah, professional photographer to take pictures of the truck, but. I grew up in the 90s, and when you take pictures of a mini truck, you have to have a model. You do. <laughs> yeah. You have to have a lady. <laughs> I was a subscribed the to mini truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I used to read in high school. Yeah, the, I didn't subscribe to the horse backstreet choppers <laughs> just for the motorcycles. Yeah, I like yeah, the yeah. ladies and, of ill repute that are sitting on these bikes. It, 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 they, yeah, they have to be a yeah. part of the photo shoot. Hamilton City. And I am calling uh, to <laughs> see because I, you know, follow your girl friends only fans me and Butler were yeah. looking at I'm, lo- I'm locked out I, I, <laughs> yeah. haven't, I haven't seen this shit in four weeks <laughs> yeah, yeah, these now, motherfuckers new, changed the password stuff. I was trying okay. to watch it in uh, there's new stuff I was trying to watch yeah, it in yeah, the yeah. Dominican Republic yeah yeah there's new now <laughs> y'all anyway um <laughs> so <laughs> you motherfucker so what I was asking you Seth uh, to see if Tracy wouldn't mind and we'll bring the truck to your front yard so you shouldn't have to go to anywhere um we'll bring it to you well, can we do 
you better than a front yard? How about the beach? Or how about like... That's how expensive the Yeah, you want my house in the background? That would be a good idea. I don't know. But yeah, I don't how about know. like... Uh, how about we go to Kittinger Park? The Dick Slapping Park. <laughs> no, no, okay, we'll bring the truck. Oh, to gonna, Dick Slapping Park. To, to, to Joe Kittinger Park. <laughs> and do a photo shoot. I don't know. When you do a mini trucking photo shoot, the girl has to be in a, a bikini. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah. Yeah. Are we gonna, Now, are we doing... Let me ask you this, and Seth, this goes for you as well. Are we doing a mini trucking shoot, or are we doing an easy rider shoot? <laughs> no, if, yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, if you're picking up, what I'm laying down. <laughs> uh, uh, listen, whatever Trace is comfortable with, I feel awkward well, enough I asking. Mean, <laughs> you know, if she's comfortable with a bikini, all it takes is, uh, let's just get a few tasteful, <laughs> no BD. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Seth, uh, well, I'm just I'm calling to take your temperature on it first before I email Tracy. We can have her. I'll take your temperature. <laughs> <laughs> if you want. No. Oh. How does it work? Your hands are huge. They're, they're bigger than yours. How they're, tall are you, Ron? 6'3". Six, 6'3". Three. Six, three. Six, three. You look taller than 6'3". Your hand is bigger than a softball. Yeah. <laughs> a, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so... Um, Seth, what do you think? Do you think that would be that would fly, or are we going to go a different direction? Uh, you know, I, could... I, I, I just like that you think that I I can speak on her behalf. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know her more than I do, so I'm just asking. Uh, like, uh, if that was something yeah. I is asked, it, is it worth would it come our, off creepy? Is it worth our time? Also, can she tell uh, that I'm looking at the OnlyFans I was asking <laughs> Buller today? Yes, because yeah, I, yeah. I, I was. I, I know she'll do it, but I still want you to ask. I'm not going to ask her. I want you to ask He'll her. never ask her. Uh, It'll never happen. Uh, can, uh, he can't. He doesn't have the... He, he, dare I say he doesn't have the <laughs> spine to do it. Oh. I, no, it's easier for me to do it on the show, by the way. Uh, I want you to do it dressed in uh, that Brooks Brothers <laughs> suit. And I want you to hold flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to go big to the door shoulder with pads. big shoulder pads, flowers, and candy and ask her to do it. <laughs> like an old 1950s boy asking out a girl. <laughs> All these, uh, it sounds funny right before the show, and then when I'm doing it, I'm like, it's creepy. <laughs> I feel more comfortable asking Look, Ron about... I'm happy you didn't ask Jackson. me to fucking take pictures. No, 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 Anyway, so you thought about it though. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, if you offer it, it's not like we're gonna uh, talk you out of it. Is Tracy there? No, she's not. Unfortunately, she's not here. Mm. Okay. Oh, well, can I? Yeah. But, but I, 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 I know. <laughs> I'm. I'm 99.9% sure that she would be more than happy to to do that. For sure. Okay, it's for the kids, you yeah. know. Yeah. Oh my God. Don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't guilt you. Yeah. It, 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 it is, it is. It's actually for the kids. We'll like, get more we money. Do, look, is it bad if we start doing softcore pornography for <laughs> children? <laughs> now, does the person, only the person that buys the truck gets the photos? No, no. Every, no, that's the you know, oh, it's world it's, baby for everybody to, to entice people to bid. Yeah, 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 it's a, it's yeah, a draw. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a call to action. Call to action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. CTA. CTA. Yeah, I mean, I'll do some. I'll, I'll, I'll do a photo shoot with it. A couple shots for any any homosexual men that want to look at. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, down with that. Or ladies. Or ladies. Yeah, or ladies, yeah, yeah, yeah they, ladies are into that. That's valid. Yeah, yeah. Or ladies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm more. I'd rather for the homosexual men, but yeah, for the ladies. <laughs> okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we could throw you in there too. Uh, you know, just have a variety. No. How much for you both to uh, actually fuck on the road? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, because I'll, I'll pull up a camping chair. <laughs> and I will Dr. Bob this shit. <laughs> uh, That's worth watching. You guys have no idea the type of request that Tracy has had on her OnlyFans with me and her. It's re- ridiculous. What, like, what are they? Can you give us any of them or does it kind of oh, confidentiality? Yeah. Foot jobs. Like yeah. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> Canadian Josh uh, made that request? No, don't talk about it. He thinks I uh, really hate him now. So, like. do they want the video of her giving you a foot job? Yeah. Yeah, well, that, and then there's more stuff too. I'm of glad it's not of him they, giving they, her. They don't don't I don't know how that works. Yeah. That's yeah. popular. It's a toe what, thing. Uh, like uh, you're putting your toes in the pussy. I know they they have to be BDMs requesting it because they know I'm her boyfriend, so nobody else knows that. So it's, it's <laughs> obvious. That all these Wait, she's hiding you, know, you from society? Well, of course yeah. it is. Yeah. We've been talking about it. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a lot of BDMs What's on there. What's the worst one you've received, if you may? Um, <laughs> You're laughing. I mean, I guess. I mean, no. I mean, I guess the foot was a little weird, but uh, 
some butthole stuff. <laughs> how much money? Are they, how does that work? Do, they, do they throw out a number they're willing to pay for Show that? Show butthole, 30 bucks. How does it work? No, all? they ask. They're like, are you willing to do it? And if so, how much? And then she asks me, and I'm like, nah, no, nah, no, 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 no. I, I just don't want to go that route. I don't want to go full court. Full core, you know, porn. I, I, okay, how about? Let, let her be tasteful. And Seth, I, quick I, I, question. I, 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 no. How much would it cost for uh, f- to lay your dick on her asshole? No, no penetration. Would that be? Is that, is that cool? Man, hot dog it. No, me and hot Ron, dog, yeah, me and Ron dog. are the same person, just completely different bodies. Because that was my question. Be that was my question. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. That, but to have my penis in it is like at least a grand. <laughs> no, right. You don't have a grand penis. <laughs> no. You have like maybe like a two fifty. Oh. Oh. I see that. Oh. He said you got a two fifty <laughs> cock. <man. laughs> All right, Seth. Um, I will. Uh, I'll shoot you an email. Um, think we'll, about the hot dog. <laughs> yeah, think about it. We'll, uh, we'll uh, you know, negotiate the terms and figure yeah. out how we're going to do this. The li- the truck okay. has no license plate, so I, I, like, I may have to get Butler to like drive it over in the middle of the night. So he something. gets pulled over. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to pay to the tow it. The non-citizen. Oh, he'll yeah. be fine. That's he won't be high. Be, I've been driving with an expired license plate for like a year now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh honey, you have the most noticeable car. I know. <laughs> that's why. No, but but that's he's why. white. Is that no, a white that's male? Why pull it over. Too. Yeah. Well, there's. Damn, a little... I didn't want to say it, but yeah. 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 There's that too. I mean, yeah. Hold on. And it's a nice car. If it was a shit car, he would have been pulled over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, but I was about to say I am pulled over all the time when I'm driving my truck. Three C. Bill tickets. Yeah, uh, it said insane clown posse <laughs> scratch <laughs> in the door. It did. Uh, all right, Seth. We'll talk to you uh, next week. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Feel better, buddy. Feel better. Quick right. question, Tom. Mm. If you are you gonna supply the the bathing suit, a bikini, or are you gonna? Yeah, we supply the. It's a wicked, so you, <laughs> wicked weasel bikinis. All right. So so <laughs> are you it. gonna sell the bikini as, as an incentive to like to the a winner of the whole prize? Yes. Oh, Top right. and bottom <laughs> separately. Yes. So I didn't think Ron's stepping it up. Yeah. All right. That, you put that. You put that in the thing, and like you could sell. You get more people to bid for it. That's yeah. Saying. You gotta be. You know, Tavani, 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 the Japanese market. Yeah. I, yeah, thank you. I found though the the people that are creepy enough to want the bottoms of the bikini don't usually have the money. Mm. Usually, no, you're incorrect. Well, really, you are incorrect. Okay, um, you know, because yeah. I've I've seen sometimes you go too goofy and then uh, that's not goofy. Well, you people will pay for their bikini. People will pay for their bikini. No, no, because the smell reminds they smell it and then they whack off to it. No, yeah. Yeah. no one's gonna admit that to anybody. You are incorrect. Could you ever heard of a thin dom relationship? I've heard of that, but I'm saying most people are behind closed doors with that kind of thing, uh, for the most part. It's like, you know, they are not going to be like, uh, they, you know, they, say so they, they pay. said, tell Ron how to be gay, Tom. No, I'm, I'm saying, Ron, I'm saying for these kind of charity promotions, not in real life. Uh, okay, okay. Fair, fair. Uh, because I've had a lot of uh, uh, experience mean, yeah, with the charity. They'll write up the numbers. Because yeah. it's some- well, maybe we should make the, the auction process, um, you know, anonymous. anonymous. Anonymous, yeah. so that you don't have that issue. Yeah, well, I guess, but we're, I've been taking them out of my boat. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. Like, well, maybe they don't want. That. Maybe they don't want that. <laughs> like, we just want the give bottom. Them options. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. I'll Fuck your boat. I want to sniff that sweet coos. Well, uh, well. <laughs> anyway, it'll all be put up on the site once we all figure it out. Uh, I think we went too far, though. We did go too far. I think we went <laughs> a little too, too the far. The hot dog too much? Uh, no, 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 not no, for no. me. Not for me. I mean, we may never talk to Tracy again. So, uh, Ron, you want to stick around? I know you got to take off because you're on I your got a uh, half hour or so Florida tour. Um, yeah, yeah, he's tearing it up, man. What do you, Ron? What do you want to do? We got voicemails, we got emails. Uh, oh, like you this. can help us answer. Ron's choice. Yeah, yeah. What I do you can want? answer answer questions. Uh, uh, what, what questions do you have to answer? Well, I'm just saying, the, we don't know. Voicemail or email? What do you What do you choose? Or both. Voicemail. No, voicemail. Okay, all right, here we go. All right, we doing mail on mail? Is that yeah, what we're doing? Yeah, we'll let's do it. No, it ties in here. We do that. Hey guys, thanks for calling 1-800-HOT-DICK, the place to find real action with real men. To make it even better, we've got new low prices. So low, we're practically giving it away free. If you are a man seeking a woman, press 1. If you are a woman seeking a man, press 2. If you are a man seeking a man, press 3. Male on male. Male on male brought to you by Mosquito Nicks. 
Mm-hmm. I've got a full system at my house. You do. It's mosquito season. Oof, um, it's about to get bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If your backyard is covered with mosquitoes, get the full system. They put sprayers all around the perimeter of your fence and your roof line, and it sprays during peak mosquito times. You get a remote control. I, uh, now it's connected to an app, so I can do it from my phone. Easy. Maybe and we should do the photo shoot at your house so we won't be any mosquitoes <laughs> on our ass. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's mosquitonicks.com. And uh, tell me you're uh, Tom and Dan listener for a discount. Do you still have your gate? Could we drive into your backyard where it's more tropical? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we'd have to. And it's uh, private because you get a privacy fence. We could yeah, drive yeah. in the side, that, mm-hmm. that little, you know, the yeah. little, beautiful climbing frame in the back. <laughs> yeah, the little area that's like, you know what I'm talking about, right? You yeah, should yeah. just green screen it all. Uh, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We could go to a place in green screen. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Put it, it, make, make it everything. Do one in the snow, do one in Put in it in space. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but, uh, a giant green screen seems harder than Joe Kittinger Park. Actually, I have a I have a giant green screen, we just, big we, enough to for the entire behind the truck. No, That's right, yeah. well, I mean, it is as big as the truck, but not only it, it the can truck. Be done. It only can the truck, if that makes sense. Um, let's do some. Uh, what do you want to start with? Uh, let's go now? email first. Okay, email. email. First. Okay, question for y'all. Question for the gang. I prepared Top Ramen. It was about six months past the expiration date, and I had to spit it out. It was so bad. So I was wondering, is there anything you will eat past the expiration date? And if so, what and how much past? I'll hang up and listen. I will eat almost anything past the expiration date if when I taste it, it doesn't taste funky. Yes. Yeah, same thing. That's fair. Uh, my you wife know, is the sniff test. She <laughs> like because the expiration date is bullshit. It's, yeah, it's yeah. mostly for marketing purposes, um, and most items. I mean, look it up. Uh, don't even require an expiration date. Mm-hmm. It's just they do it so you throw your full sour cream out or whatever the fuck yeah. and buy a new one. Uh, it's just so they can make more money. Um, smell it, or if it's got mold on it. Then don't eat it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then other than that, it's fine, right? Yeah, like moldy bread, I won't eat because I just I can smell it. Like yeah. I can start to moldy, smell. It, it's the mold guts into it. So like, even though like a corner of it looks bad, and like some people eat the rest of it, like it's all in it. Yeah, you gross. can smell it. Yeah, yeah, but it's not bad for you. Right? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I yeah. think you can eat it. And like, it also depends on the cheese. Soft cheese, hard cheese. There's different kinds you can cut it off. As well. Right, right. I have a jar of Marmite that's like five years old. I still eat it. Most stuff has enough preservatives and stuff that yeah. it's not going to actually make you sick. Right, I mean, there's I don't a, believe so. No, there's only a few like dairy products. I mean, I don't know what uh, like chicken and stuff. Uh, you know, puffy milk I won't drink. Mm. You know, but stuff like that. I think you could even drink old milk. It just tastes bad, but you won't get some sort of uh, yeah. Sour, sour I don't know. It's, it's chunky. Around. But yeah. why would you eat it if it tastes bad? <laughs> some no, 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 beers no, no. do that. Can, can I? I'm gonna rant for a second Go about ahead. beers. Your lactose beers that are out there. I can't. I'm, what is that? I, well, like beers that have like a milk, like a lactose mm-hmm. in them, yeah, lactose, like to yeah. give it like a creaminess or a milkshake yeah, beer. Yeah, yeah. It, like when they, whenever they sit for a little while, and then you go to pour it, it's like pouring in chunky milk. Yeah, and I can't I do can't it. Either. Yeah, and I know some guys are really big in them. I just I don't understand why that is a beer trend. I don't get it. I don't like anything remotely milky near my beer. So, just, yeah, like milk stout stuff like that. I, I just don't think yeah. IPAs, yeah. All these yeah, I, other I can't crazy really do ones, it. Yeah. I don't understand. I, I'm just not that guy yet. Maybe I'm somebody good. can explain it to me, but I can't. I can't get on board. It's You're just, better for it. Yeah, it's personal taste. People. Some people like yeah, yeah. the dark beer. Yeah. Well, that, I can drink a dark beer. dark beer. I'm talking about like this is like yeah, milk the, the in the beer, beer. Right. and it's like. Yo, I, don't, added, yeah. I don't know about that. I never liked any uh, alcohol milky products like white, white Russian? Russians oh. or any of that. Like, mm-hmm. uh, I got I'm, fucked up on some white Russians one time, and I I don't know that I can do it anymore. Yeah, yeah. I just drank them all night one night. No, like, I will say they do taste on. very good. I like the taste of them. They ruin yeah. my stomach. I can't do it. What's your cocktail if you go out? What's a cocktail for you? I have a screwdriver or whiskey. Okay. Just I, like I, I, I go, I, when I go to bars or anything like <laughs> that. Oh, by the way. LA bars versus tier bars. I'm like spending like a third of the money, which I'm really loving. So I'm getting really, really junk. But I usually do a screwdriver first, and I I, I finish off with like two whiskey uh, and diets just to get that buzz going. And I'm yeah, dancing. Yeah. I'm dancing. Yeah, fine. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Ron, better life. Uh, how is LA? Like you, uh, do you live in the thick of it? And, I like, live on the outskirts. Stop of it. singing into the thick of it. He's TikTok crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I live in the outskirts of. Um, I'm closer to five. I'm closer to 134. Uh, traffic since COVID has been pretty chill. Um, I go out to Silver Lake for bars or, no, or North, NoHo or North Hollywood for bars. I don't go to WeHo because that's all full of twinks, and I'm not about that life. 
Um, and I is just, there a better gay scene in L.A. than yes, there is oh, in there's, Orlando? There's, there's Way Hill is it's a gay hood. Orlando needs a way, uh, gay hood. If Orlando gets a gay, uh, gay hood, even after Pulse, I think it's, it's bound to happen because that will help um, create a safe space for queer people in general. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's what's needed after everything. To I'm do, surprised so, so we don't have a gay I, 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 I thought Thornton Park was going to turn into that. But if, if, if I hear it has not. Huh. Um, but that's something that is needed. Like you have that in Houston, you have it in, um, in LA, you have it in, in um, New York. It's just one of the things that you, that signifies a good city. I think. Okay, dude. What? Okay, what if we started a push for all the gays to move to Deltona and turn make Deltona great again? Oh man! <laughs> like, because <laughs> it, that's what we need. The, Do we? Have we enough? need because I'm trying to think of what area needs, needs well, no, but, to be but better. They, but I don't. Think, a, I don't think my gay friends would want to live. No, in no, I know. I know. One reason why I left, I left Deltona, and like, and I pass by. I see that there's a big Amazon thing there now. I'm like. And that's about right. That's Altona. Yeah, I know. It's just horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make it better. It, yeah, it's. I. I don't. We and, do. I, and I don't think we have enough gays to displace the amount of creature people that live in Delta. I know. I, I think we're, I think Listen, we're, we're, it's like, it's a fantasy. Remember when you're, st- like in Game of Thrones, you're looking out over, with the, there's the wall, and you look out and you see the first couple of frost giants walk up, but then behind them is a sea of ice people. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like that. It's yeah. like, you're like, oh man, we've been <laughs> off, oh, you know, and then all my gay friends would be like, we're not doing this, and we'd all go back to oh, yeah, Orlando. Yeah. We're better than this. Yeah, that'd be it. Um, let's oh, my do turn, a voicemail, yeah. Here we go. Um, I mean, have done something bad, buddy. Tom, Dan, Sam, and Butler. It's Canadian Josh. Well, I guess after my message I left regarding the <laughs> foot job incident, I am officially a deviant, so let's continue down uh, that vein. Maybe this is the end of Canadian Josh, as you know him. I have to pause and apologize to Josh. I think he thought I was like, when I said I can't th- I'll look at him the same way. I thought, you're fine. You're, you're, you're Because more people he are into this. It. More people emailed me saying they were into it than not into it. I saw the uh, BDM There's page. There's a whole yeah, talking about yeah. like, I like mad. it. <laughs> I like feet on my cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's all I need. Well, you guys are talking about blackouts and brownouts and how some people, a.k.a. Sean Wasson, can function well while blacked out. I am that person. I once flew back from work uh, from Calgary, Alberta to uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia. And started the first leg of the flight with beers. Uh, I had VIP lounge access in Calgary. And then beer turned to scotch. And the girl I was working with, she had some sleeping bills. So it was a red-eye flight. So I thought on top of the copious... Let motherfucker go party. Jesus Christ. Christ. By the way, that's, a, that's how people end up trying to open the door yeah. during the flight. Yeah. And they, uh, yeah. <laughs> the passengers are holding you down. You're screaming. Christ. You're peeping your pants. <laughs> <laughs> like that. That's how. Some alcohol I consume. I should take a sleeping pill for the flight back across the country. Anyway, needless to say, I have zero recollection of leaving the lounge in Calgary getting on an airplane, and flying across the country. Somehow I did it. No memory whatsoever. I made it through security. I talked to the gate agent, apparently. This is what the girl I was working with told me later. And she could tell I was hammered, but (laughs) still functioning. Literally no memory of getting on the flight. I remember taking the sleeping pill. I remember the last drink of scotch. Next memory I have, I am landing on the other side of the country six and a half hours later. It was like a time machine. It was great. But I function well. And while blacked out. Maybe that's not a good thing. Anyway, I'll hang up and listen. Love you guys. BDM for life. Well, were you blacked foot out job. while you were getting your foot job? <laughs> <laughs> no, he remembers that. Uh, also, that's more of the pill than it is the alcohol, right? Yeah, you, it's you, probably a combination of it, both. You know, I, don't, I don't really do that anymore, especially on flights uh, because of your wife. Ever since when we were taking those trips and my anxiety for f- my fear of flying was so much higher, it, it used to be way worse than it is now. Yeah. And I would load up on beer and Xanax, and, and then, like, I remember your wife... It's stuck in my brain. For some reason, your wife saying something to you about, like, don't let him be a Heath Ledger or something like, like oh, that. Oh, oh, like, she God. was afraid that I was just going to oh, pound God. beers, and then it stuck in my brain. You just need to have your wife say certain things to change Dave's life. <laughs> yeah, no, it, 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 it was something else earlier it. you uh, said that she said I told it. her she whispers <laughs> loud. <laughs> 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 it might have been that, but I heard her say, "Don't let him pull a Heath Ledger." And like now, I th- and I th- I remember at that time it was like it sobered me up. I was like, "Whoa!" If I, do- I don't want to die. Yeah, what if I do drink yeah. twelve beers and take four Xanax and and yeah. die on a? I don't want to be that 
guy, right. and a lot of people do that. Yep. A lot of way. famous rappers and entertainers and people have, have killed themselves that way uh, accidentally. When she told me that, I nodded. I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I won't, I won't. And did nothing. Because <laughs> 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 what, what am I supposed to do? I was just like, I don't want to And just stayed, stared forward. Can jo- is Kenny Johnson, like, a fun guy to hang out with? I, I, is I, who? Kim Jong Un? No, Canadian <laughs> Johnson. I was say he's fucking awesome. Because like, uh, I really want. I really. If yeah, I ever go to, if I ever want to go to Canada, I do want to meet up with him. Because he's like, great. He's a cool guy, and like. I'm not into feet. Feet's like my one thing that turned me off. But I appreciate that he's open. Like, like I yeah. am open. So like, I think we're, we're like, you know, he's that's a the first he's really said anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was so, taking a yeah, risk. Yeah. I feel like yeah. in sharing. That. And then we I'm shamed fine. him. It, yeah, well, yeah, but he was well received. Yeah. I mean, like he know he. I think. I he think knew. we were just questioning why, if your back hurts, doesn't seem <laughs> yeah, conducive yeah, yeah. to give yeah. a, a foot job. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. when my wife's on the rag, she'll say, <laughs> she'll say, she will. She'll be like, I can't do anything, but I can. Put my mouth on it if you want that, and I was like, "Well, that's, that's doing something." And, 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 oh, like, and I'll go, "Well, that's a stupid question." <laughs> and then, and then she'll blow me. <laughs> and two nights ago, I was so high, it was just like, "Is she blowing you, or are you face fucking her?" Yeah, is she exactly. just laying there. Is she? Oh, is her head? Is her head? See, over he her, knows. No. Yeah, that's, that's, I want to know <laughs> if she doesn't feel good. Okay, it starts with uh, like me on my back, and okay. then I go to my side when I really want to, uh, you know. Choke around. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah. What are you? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Rubber, rubber belly, you make yeah. it go faster. Yeah. See, Ron knows, he knows all the tricks. See, rubber I didn't belly. Know that trick. Yeah, that's like on a lawnmower. You got the rabbit to go fast and you got the <laughs> this, turtle this, to go slow. This will be the show I get the emails. They're like, you can be No, we've sponsor. done worse. You said I was a crook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. At the end of, my, of the commercial, you just screamed. <laughs> Possibly a crook. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then there's a. Over anyway, uh, so uh, <laughs> what's the email? email? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Question about porn. <laughs> no, it just keeps on coming. <laughs> hey, Tom, Dan, Sam, and Butler, and whoever else happens to be there, I have a few questions about porn for all of you guys. First, when you watch porn, if the guy is wearing a condom, does it kind of turn you off or take you out of it? Yes. Also, if you notice that the woman has a lot of lips, it kind of turns you off or takes you out of it. Personally, I don't like condoms in porn, and I find myself turned off by lips. I will say that I'm not judgy about lips on a woman. It's fine. I'm just not into it. Sucking fat titties. Lips. Lips. Wait, all which have which lips, one? Dum dum. No, 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 down here. Or, uh, uh, like oh, down there. No, no, no he's right. talking about down there. But what Dum Dum doesn't understand is no offense. He to says this. I'm not judgy about lips on a woman. I'm fine with it. I'm just not into it. No, but it. they all have <laughs> lips. It's just there's going to be different sizes and, and no. colors. Some are, medi- and, some are meatier than others. Yeah, no. I mean, but they all have them. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, your labia yeah. minora and majora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, big and you're little. You're inside and you're outside. Yeah, I don't like the condoms in porn though i'm with ron now yeah i don't like it when the condoms i can go i can i can do a clear traditional 1980s condom (laughs) i cannot do a bright pink or red dog dick condom (laughs) it depends on what what can't do the dog dick production date of the day because like with advent of prep and everything i like there's no reason for there to be condoms now so I I think they have to do it legally in certain states. No, I think certain states require you maybe to use condoms when you're filming pornography. Not in California anymore, because like they, yeah, they, but they went and changed. They changed that back and forth for yeah, a little bit. That, that's valid. Yeah, that's a valid point. And I and most of the pornography nowadays is filmed all over the place because of the internet, right? So yeah. a lot of it was filmed in Florida at the, like the beginning of the 2000s with the uh, bareback, reality, pr- bareback production, reality yeah. kings. Guys, and now I don't even know if really gigantic porn production or production studios exist really anymore. Most people are just doing their own Online, content yeah, yeah. and releasing it themselves. Yeah. Content there creators is, themselves. There is, it's like Falcons. You know, like other other production companies are still around, and they just have big, not big productions, but they have modern, um, medium productions, and they still. Are selling it, but with the distribution now is all online. Like you have certain like A B A B N. They, yeah, they do a whole bunch of new releases all the time. Some are like personal um, productions. Some are like big, you know, studio productions. It's, they're still valid ways to make money. Even for, um, for are they still by. are they still doing movies? Yes, like yes, uh, like like story, story an hour lines. movie. Yeah, storylines. Like, mostly, um, it's like four scenes with you go double double. Triple than a group, and that's usually how it goes. Now for storylines, for at least for 
the queer content I still watch. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Yeah. I mean, is that the same as the... I, I, I'm seeing, I'm pretty sure, because, I, I, like, the bisexuality um, genre is, is popping off. Bisexuality is now where you see two guys and a girl is, a, I think, a growing trend. Because people are becoming more... Open o- to open, it, yeah. Open to it now. It's, it's becoming a bigger trend now. It's becoming and, normalized, yep. yeah. Um, it, it, I've not... When's the last time you've talked to anybody that's watched a full length pornography no, movie from, from you, beginning to end? No. <laughs> yeah. I don't really like, talk to people about that on the regular. Yeah, I, well, I mean, it was I, the last thing I talked to my mom about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, you uh, know, I, I regret not getting her answer. She was like, I watched three. I just uh, I, I thought she was going to say she watched three quarters of it. I was guessing her last. You're one. right. I uh, like no, a lot of people don't talk about at the end how they consume their pornography, but I just assumed nobody was sitting down and watching a hour feature movie mm-hmm. anymore. There's something for everybody, man. It is, I, well, I, but it's got to be the vast minority, right? I, like, who, I would assume the, just because the, of the nature of our the society. Big, the big trend that I'm seeing now is you've got normal couples who just and I, I think I said this a, a couple of Fridays ago that just cut out their face. Yes. Yeah. You know, and or, or bas- or, yeah, yeah. you see the bass with a ski mask they have? Yeah, yeah. I've seen yeah, ski yeah, masks, yeah. but I, the, the cut out the faces one to me is fascinating because they know exactly where they need to be. You know, like when they're doing it, and there'll be like no edit, but the guy knows like where to keep himself out of frame. I'm like, well done, man. That's like some good screen awareness. Choreography. Uh, the uh, the literally Deep the deep last deep. like pornography movie that I saw was Pirates, Pirates. that you gave me back two. when Fair Villa <laughs> was 2004. Yeah, yeah, it was like Janine four or five. Yes. It was yeah. her in her uh, her first I think a male debut. Yeah. I rented that from the back of the Hollywood <laughs> video sixteen years ago. Right? Yeah, Tom, real quick question: Do yep. you have to watch a certain f- portion of porn to get off, or do you have to you just go wherever you come first? How dare you? <laughs> I, 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 I do not talk about that. Oh, oh, look at this guy. oh, wow. You shut it down, everybody. Wow. It's just whatever. They, I mean, I'm uh, in the bathroom yeah. hiding from my family. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not a luxury. Yeah, it could be anything, right? It's, it's a utility. It literally could be Homer Simpson it's, with Marge, and he's whacking. I think he just tries to go as fast as he can. Yeah, he's yeah. like a NASCAR pit crew. It's just real fast. It's a chore, like Ricky Leaves. You know, that part of my. Weekly uh, duties, okay. <laughs> you know, My God, just, man. there's no joy to it. I'm angry, <laughs> and then I'm ashamed. Hey, do you want to keep this going? Yeah, or no, take, a break? Right, take a break. Yeah, we probably need. To take um, a break. so oh, God, uh, okay. man, you've embarrassed me today. <laughs> well, I didn't ask. Ron is asking. <laughs> no, Ron's great. Ron is being Ron. You are all here, <laughs> like flustered. Saying, yeah, what the hell is wrong with you today? <laughs> I'm telling. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> So, Ron, it was good seeing you. Um, safe travels. Love you, buddy. Thank you so much Thank for coming you. by. Give your mother some love from us, man. Yeah. Tell her we, we love her. When are you heading back? Um, I leave here Monday. Then I go to Jersey to see my dad. Um, things are not great up there, so I'm going to hopefully handle the things up there. And then um, head back to in July 6th. Okay. To L.A. Um, right on, it's, well, it's, safe it's, travels. It's, it's a tour after COVID, so, yeah. I'm trying to spread the love and try to... Show, share kindness to everybody. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Hundred um, percent. Well, safe travels, my friend. Um, thank you as always for listening. Tell everybody that we don't uh, normally get to see that you are seeing that uh, that we said hello, and we'll take a quick break. This is Late Waves. The name of the song is Extra Pale. We'll be right back with more A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. It's Bart Merrick and Crystal Van. If you're looking to uh, buy or sell a house, they're the realtor team that can help you. Yeah, it's the Bart great. Merrick team. I used them to sell my mother's house, yeah. and it was the easiest and best process I could have ever asked for. And it was during a time when, uh, during this pandemic, when things are a bit crazy, a, yeah. bit, uh, a, bit, a bit loony out there right now. Especially in this market, it. It, do yourself a favor and use the Bart Merrick team because they have experience they do. Uh, buying and selling in this market and it's crazy right now. And if you use an inexperienced realtor, you're not going to get the yeah. right price. Yeah. You're not going to get your house. It's, there are you're a lot of bad things. nothing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, speaking of someone who used Bart and Crystal, we got Ryan on the line. How you doing, Ryan? Doing great, guys. How are you? Good. So did you buy or sell a house with Bart and Crystal? 
My wife and I bought our very first home through them. Oh, cool. Hey, congratulations, man. Buying your first home can be sort of scary. How was your experience with uh, Barton Crystal? It was probably one of the easiest things we've ever done and also spent the most amount of money we ever spent, but we didn't care about it at all because we had such a really good professionals on our side the whole process. Awesome. Um, wow, man. That's uh, good to hear. Man, I get excited when I hear people buy their first home because yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. what that feels like. Did, and and knowing that you have that, that that ownership is just so nice, man. Did you do it in like recently in this market? Yeah, we uh we finalized everything in the middle of March. So the first part of the year, we were house hunting. Oh wow! Okay, because it, it is tough to buy right oh, now. You got in right under. And the wire. Uh, but you still can. You just have to do it the right way. And Bart and Crystal know how to, and they know all the tricks. They know what to offer. They know uh, because they're doing it right now, yeah. and that's all they do. Plus, you get the benefits of working with not one person, but uh, you know, basically a phone line that's open anytime you need it. They uh, they double back and work with each other, so I think you're really going to like that part of the plan. Oh, also, Ryan is going to get, uh, we're going to announce this in a couple weeks, but uh, he has the opportunity to get a really awesome prize with our new partnership. Oh, you'll you'll yeah, hear yeah, it, Ryan, yeah. but uh, when we do announce it, make sure to submit uh, because you'll get something awesome yeah, we, from us. We got something uh, that'll maybe spruce up your house, we'll say. Well, Ryan, I appreciate you using Barton Crystal. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you soon, okay? No problem, guys. Have a great day. All you right, too. Man. You too. Wow, what a nice yeah, man. Yeah, he is Jeez, nice. Well, he's very nice. Polite. Hi, guys. I'm Ryan. I'm I, very nice. I thought all our listeners were horrible people. Yeah. I really, <laughs> that's, that's what I okay, thought. Did, did you see me laughing at the yeah. beginning of the commercial? And I could have thrown you off, but I chose to keep it inside. Yeah. It's because Ryan, when we called him, sounded nice and, and respectful. And I wanted him to sound like a creature. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. That's yeah. my perception yes, of all the listeners. Me too. They're like a bunch of Mike B's. Yeah, <laughs> blah, <laughs> blah, blah. Oh, oh, not me, my house. Me love Bob Mary team. BartTheRealtor.com. That is Left Field Messiah with Feels Like Summer. Welcome back to A Mediocre Time. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha's here. Butler's in the other room. Thanks to Ron for stopping by. That was hella fun. Yeah. It's always good to see that guy. We are smack dab in the middle of your voicemails and emails, and that is exactly where we are going to stay. I um, think we left off on my email about porn. Yes. So I think we're ready for uh, me. Ready for me? me. Real quick, the uh, pre-sale for the girls. Yes. Uh, Tom and Dan dresses are uh, still available, yeah. still up. You can it still ends pres- June thirtieth. Okay, so get on that. So but Wednesday, a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more time. Five days or so. Also, I want to give a shout out to BDM Angela, who hit me up on Instagram. Um, I've never really talked about her story. It's her story to tell, and hopefully in the near future we will get to tell it. But she also is a hypochondriac like I am, mm-hmm. and we both kind of share that. And I've had tons. Of people that, whether I'm talking about like OCD or anxiety or stress, you know, you know, or, or, or any of the mental things that I deal with day in and day out, I, I get a lot of people that will email me time and time again and say, like, hey, it really helps that you're open about that, right? And Angela's one of those people, so I'm just throw her some love. She just got out of surgery because she had some uh, things that she's getting taken care of, and it looks like everything's going to be awesome for her. Goodness. So I feel and congratulations, and I'm glad she's okay. Yeah, I got a picture here of her. But I she feel just, like we shouldn't call her. her. She's good. She's, oh, awesome. Yep, she's good to go. I, I feel like we shouldn't call her a hypochondriac anymore because she was right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she was, was right, right about right. About that yeah. one, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She did have, and, I, and that's her story. I haven't fully cleared whether or not we can air the whole thing okay, out. But yeah, yeah, she she is one of those anyway. people that all like just short of the long as she thought she had some things. And uh, and like me, you tell people you're like, I got this, 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 and then one day she was saying, I got this, and she had it. And sometimes that happens, but it looks like she's gonna be just fine. Statistically, one person is gonna be right, or a couple, you know, like eventually someone's gonna be right. And she said this cheers her up, so I'm just throwing all the energy to her. And if you look at the positive, she can now claim because I'll I'll say this to you and Seth. If you guys are ever right about something that's wrong with you, even one thing, then for the rest of your lives, nobody could ever make fun of you about that anymore. And we can no longer call you a hypochondriac. Um, So that's what you win. 
uh, if you're ever right. No. Are, <laughs> where are we at now? Also, voicemail. You win cancer. Okay. <laughs> voicemail. <Jesus. laughs> okay, oh my God. Here we go. Tom and Dan and Sam and Trav. Hey, guys, it's Kenny. Um, listening to you guys talking about how angry you get uh, turning off your cell phones or not being able to charge during takeoff with the airplanes. Um, one of my friends who was a flight attendant, I'm surprised Tom doesn't know this, given that his family was uh, in the airline industry Ooh, for a shade. bit. Um, one of my mm-hmm. friends told me the main reason they do that is just to make sure that they have your attention in the event that something happens. That's what I was told, too. I was told that the only reason they do that is so you will actually pay attention to the emergency announcements that they're doing. I've had them say as they walk by, sir, put your uh, yeah. phone in airplane yeah. mode. The lady told me to unplug mine from the bottom and plug it into the top because it messes with the plane's <laughs> electricity. I told you that. Yeah. And the, do they really care if you pay attention? I don't think they do. And I think if you ask most flight attendants, they don't give two fucks well, they whether would, you're paying attention I bet you they or would not. prefer that you do, though. Like, I don't like doing a job if people aren't paying do, attention. They've, they've flown 10,000 times. Nothing's ever happened, and nothing's ever going to happen. So they don't give a shit, I think. I, you know, yeah, but, that one time, it might yeah. happen. Yeah, but, <laughs> Just but, like uh, but yeah, but, listener. But this, you, like, my uh, mother-in-law literally retired after... Like forty, like yeah. forty years. How many flights is that? My God! I mean, more than I could. She doesn't thousands? even know. Like uh, th- uh, thousands, yeah. Yeah. tens of thousands. Like she started uh, Pan Am. Yeah, that's like, insane. She started in the seventies with Pan Am, and it, anyway, her entire career never had a problem. Yeah, and t- flown. Twenty five thousand yeah. times, you know what I'm saying? It's like so, I'm sure in her twenty four thousand flight, I think it's just protocol. Yeah, yeah. So, like, what we're arguing they here is, do they shit. really? Well, but but we they but they do because if it is protocol, does then, the protocol need to change? Then it, well, it probably does. But if they're going to walk around and say it, then obviously they care or they wouldn't say it. The only reason they're saying it is because it's their job, and they have to. And then, right. but the FDA mandates that you say it's like you know what my recent thing I've been mad at and uh, FFA. Only or wait, FAA, only FAA, yeah, the FAA. You said FDA, then I said FFA, and then we've settled on FAA. Remember back in uh, radio days when they'd make you read the the, the fast disclaimer? They at the still end make you do that. I know, yeah. I, it's so stupid. Uh, but <laughs> there's like certain businesses that they have to say something at the end or like read the it's disclaimer. Normally, like an attorney or a car lot or giant corporations. They like uh, whatever they have to put at the end. Um, in if you listen to any sports podcasts, uh, like the new thing is like DraftKings and FanDuel, and like they they're spending billions in advertising or whatever. Um, in every commercial, if they read a commercial for FanDuel or DraftKings, they have to read some convoluted list of numbers you have to call if you have a gambling problem, mm-hmm. and it's so stupid. And every time I get mad at it because I was like, "This is helping no one," and the only reason you're doing this is because the they're state legally bound, yeah. legally bound, they have to do it. So they're like, "If you're uh, uh, New Jersey, four nine or three two high two, they're reading the number and oh, get, I, okay. They yeah, have to yeah, go know. through every single number of each state." That uh, that could possibly just uh, give know. a national number. My God, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Well, because every state is different yeah, because it's a right. stupid thing. Different but anyway, and... it's fucking stupid. Uh, it's not helping anybody. No one with a gambling problem is like, oh, I do have a gambling problem. I am from New Jersey. I'm gonna hold. Like, stupid. I'd like it's to think pointless. there's one guy though that called. No, no one's like, called. Thank you for the service. <laughs> no one's called. You fixed we should my call family. one of these gambling hotlines and ask them how many calls they get a day. Right? I mean, they may get some calls, but it's not from the advertising. Well, they, they can't, I can't imagine they get a lot of That's calls, That's what I'm right? thinking. I don't know. That's got to be the lamest of the call center. Like, Man, you, you fall asleep you, you at think the about dog. suicide prevention, that thing's got to ring off the hook. Because yeah. people got problems, and mentally, we are not well. Yeah. But I, a gambling, I don't think you'd notice. You know, I can, I can understand there being a breaking point for really severe mental issues where you would want to talk to somebody because you're scared. But I can't see a gambler doing that. I don't even know the. I, it'd be interesting to talk to someone who's went to some gambling rehab or something because they're they're that exists. Mm-hmm. Like you can go to facilities and uh, you know just like any addiction, yeah, or whatever you can. <laughs> you mentioned suicide hotline, <laughs> yeah, what, and it popped in my head, and it's kind of this weird vortex that's been going on lately where something relates to something else. And I brought up Ted Bundy earlier because yeah. we we're talking to. Um, 
Orlando uh, Orange, or sorry, Orange County Library System, but didn't he work? He worked yeah. at a suicide prevention. Home. Really? Yeah. That uh, yeah, I how ironic that. is that? Him? Yeah. Well, uh, he may have done more good than bad. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know that. Hot take. Yeah, hot what take. If, what if he is, not, hold on. What if? I'm okay. not saying that. I'm not owning that one. The guy's Even a horrible. Man, I thought it, but I'm not owning that. Okay. I'm not hitching my wagon to okay. it. The guy is a horrible monster serial killer. No, we, we, don't, are, we have no way of adding it up. But, we don't know. Yeah. But what if you found We don't know the numbers. If you found out that while he was working he at the saved more lives than he, 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 he was so good it's, at it. It's gotta, he, he was charming. It's got to mean something. I feel like, yeah, no, it doesn't change his status of a horrible monster but it's just like oh like at the war like wouldn't you like to you think know? that he at least worked his way back to even <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm kidding um, uh, just, what do we got? Terrible, it's um, horrifying. Okay. horrifying. We have an embarrassing story. Well, it says for the BDM show. Maybe I just won't mention who this is. No, okay. Um, hey guys and gal, I have a hilarious and embarrassing story for you. Last night I was hanging out at my best friend's house, just drinking and having a good time. I got too drunk to drive and decided to sleep on her couch. That's a good choice. I was wearing a butt plug because I don't know why not. <laughs> So I go into the bathroom to take it out for the night. Wait, who is this? Is this Ron again? <laughs> this is Mike B. <laughs> uh, I go into the bathroom to take it out for the night, and it slips out of my hand and falls into the toilet, oh, flared God, face is, down. This is not real. I tried to carefully grab it, but because it's metal, it just kept slipping from my fingers and sliding deeper down into the toilet hole. It slid all the way back to where oh, the this, hole turns down and got lodged there. This doves tails into my David Blaine poop story. <laughs> oh, okay. So there I was, wrist deep in my best friend's toilet, trying desperately to get some sort of grip on it. I looked around the bathroom to find some sort of tool to help me remove it, but nothing worked. She doesn't even have a plunger in there. I started to panic as I realized getting it out was impossible. So I had to make a decision. Do I tell her that I, that no, I butt gotta, plugged her toilet and you, that's why it's clogged? No. Or do I wait for her to text me because a plumber pulled no. a butt plug out you of her toilet? You gotta flush the toilet and then when it backs up, scream and then have them all come in here and then see the butt plug and go, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you're and blame it on her. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be like, there. good lord, who oh, yeah. flushes their butt plug? I'm out of here. You guys are weird. Then get in your car, drive away, go right to Taco Bell and then home. I decided to wait, which I'm feeling pretty guilty about, but I just couldn't bring myself to tell her. I know it will just become a funny story between us, but my anxiety is going to be pegged until the issue is resolved. It may just go straight down. That's true, yeah. I flush candy wrappers all the time. I'm forming a plan to buy one of those magnet sticks from a hardware store and go over there tonight to try and fish it out. We'll see how that goes. Oh, yeah. You're going to go over there to her house and then excuse yourself to the bathroom with a magnet pole? And- <laughs> yeah, and, yeah uh, how are you going to sneak that in? Also, someone's probably used the toilet, right? Yeah. The, the, in the past, why would you want it back now? Yeah, <laughs> also, well, those things are expensive. Why? Yeah, but the, how much shit has passed through that? But why the, the butt plug? Yeah. The, oh, uh, oh yeah. So this person was over their friend's house and then just had a butt plug. A lot of people in. roll with it in. They people yeah. walk around with them in and yeah. beads as well. Like, yeah. Really? A lot of people yeah. roll with them I, in. I actually pulled certain emails because I wanted Ron to talk about it yeah. because he's a little more into the scene yeah. than yeah. you but guys he's got, are. He's got limited time. Speak for yourself, yeah. sister. Was this I'm a in. was this a female I or male? I can't tell you who oh. it was. I'm not, giving out, I'm not giving do out. Not giving out any. Do we know? Yes. Have I I'll sh- tell you off air. <laughs> have I ever high fived this person or touched probably, their skin? Probably. Yeah. Probably. So what's the advantage of walking around with it? Just the sensation. Yeah, the naughtiness of it too. I mean, like some of them vibrate. Think about it. If you have your butt plug in, you go to your friend's house. It could fall out and land in the toilet. And that's <laughs> exciting. It's risky. I, yeah. Uh, okay. So it's like the. It's a little bit about. Uh, also, sometimes people are. What does that say? What's about the sh- word I'm looking for here? Kind of training. To oh, make it, you know, I easier train. for I'm, easier access. I'm not going to train while I'm out on a, out and about. I'm <laughs> yeah. not going to train while I'm getting groceries. It, it's, yeah. it's That's like, the best time. You're doing uh, two uh, things at once. I don't need my training. Uh, you try to squeeze out a fart. Yeah, I don't. No, you can't. No, you can't. no there's no, not. You, yeah. you got to take like it out for the that. competitive eaters. They drink a bunch of water to expand their yes. stomach. Yeah, so yeah, they yeah, can, yeah. It's just like okay. that. <laughs> it's just like that. The butt plug. In do you is it like gauges where yes. your ears you it's like, correct, you correct. they it? sell them in packs where yeah. yes it's exactly it's like exactly gauges, like yes. gauges all right um so okay I didn't know yeah <laughs> like the one we gave away was the final gauge <laughs> don't talk about it don't talk about it <laughs> <laughs> um all right. I think I would try. I think I would try a, a junior butt plug if they have one. They do. 
Oh yeah, they, they have little. Well, I, I need to be real small. I, they I need, do. I'm telling you, I, I need to be like pin. I need to be like the butt plug equivalent of the pen that you, the airline pilots give a child <laughs> when he goes to the front <laughs> and flies the plane. I need almost be like a participation butt plug. You know what I mean? Like mm. I needed to be like. Like a pipe cleaner, thin. Listen, <laughs> there, he did it. He did it. When I was in college, uh, there we go. I don't know if he wants me to tell <laughs> he was his business. On this <laughs> no, no. But, Keep it uh, anonymous. Yeah. No, logic, Mike B. No. Lo- logic man. Damn it, logic. <laughs> he uh, he used to tell me he's like uh, he's like oh yeah I use a vibrating butt plug when I jack off. <laughs> oh, nice. I was like we're Applebee. That's where your jeans are. I'm like what? Yeah. But, you know I'm also in my early twenties. Like you know yeah, this is uh, there. I was like some, uh, what do you have? You having some of those redneck? Egg rolls. Like, I thought, <laughs> I, I thought, Dipping them in the Southwest sauce. I thought that was like the, uh, the yeah. you know, for an advanced older man yeah. or woman. Or the, by, I don't know. Like it seemed like an advanced move. The, the lady comes by. She's like, "I'll be right back with your El Presidente margarita." But, but he, <laughs> he, he, he swore by it. And then I, I, I always was curious because he's logic man. Yeah, he, totally logical. Yeah. And has to feel good. He's not doing it for any other reason. Yeah, your your uh, G spots in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not but, mine. It seems like <laughs> I had mine removed when I was twelve. Like oh. you know, I uh, I don't I when I had the uh, butt problems, <laughs> I had to use the, the old uh, butt problems of twenty seventeen. Yeah, 2017. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the suppository, of the, and I was embarrassed laying on the floor, <laughs> tear going down my eye. No, <laughs> but I was m- mad about it. There's nothing I, I loved nothing. more than when you were having. It. Did you have to go knuckle <laughs> deep? No, no, he had no, to, no. But he had to douche his butt. No, like, no, he had to douche, no. Yeah, he had to douche the turds out of his butt. No, Push it in. Yeah. You yeah. Enema the, yourself. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what are you on now? What is this yeah. show? <laughs> storage wars. Fucking yeah, butt. Put that the name of the show. It's butt storage wars. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having a seven and a five and a five and a five and a one and one and a two and two and a five 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 and a five
you can get away with it because your cold is overpowered. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, right, right, right. but then if I wear them instantly, I've succumbed to total nerd dad. That's my last. We're, we're basically telling you to succumb because it's already there. Yeah. Just go it's ahead, resistance. and slap on the yeah. chest. Yeah. Trying to hold out. Uh, I think I'm still in my thirties. What do you hold down? He's waiting for forty next year. He's doing it. Will it be acceptable if I get you a gift for your fortieth birthday? I don't want to of Crocs. No, I. I feel like I can keep I'm, just in my forties. I start doing the T, you know, and the HGH, okay. and then, then I'll be, mm-hmm. uh, you know, buff old man. Hopefully, okay. what do buff old men wear? She was. I think they wear Crocs. <laughs> I think they do wear Crocs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think yeah, yeah. wrestlers yeah, yeah, they wear the fanny pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have Crocs. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of wrestler buddies I see yes, fanny yeah, pack yeah, with yeah. steroids in it. There, yes, yeah, yeah, fanny yeah. pack, tiny shorts, yeah, Crocs, yeah, yeah, yeah. no shirt, pain, <laughs> penis arms. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute, yeah. you're gonna. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. He's waiting for 40. <laughs> Next email. Uh, chicken wing sized loads. And what, what is the fucking. What is happening today on the show? <laughs> Again, I picked these because I thought Ron was going to be around. Um, in response to that classic email from Chicken Wing, I wanted to recommend maca root powder to the fellas. It has a lot of benefits, including increasing libido and natural testosterone production. Fuck yeah. But one of the side effects is increased clear fluid in your semen. I don't want the clear. I, I want started, the milk. <laughs> I started taking maca root about 10 years ago, and within a short time, I started. Firing off large, long-range shots. Yeah, what it's kind of macaroni do you do? <laughs> he says it's a crowd pleaser, <laughs> un- <laughs> unless she's scared of semen, in which case it's probably terrifying. No, no, no. My personal infamous story about this is while attempting to aim lower, I accidentally shot an ex-girlfriend in the back of the head from about three feet away oh with God. enough velocity to poof her hair up as though a tiny <laughs> air cannon <laughs> was fired off. Best email of the day. Best email of the day, but it's a lie. Yeah. But this I guy, think it's all lies. It's Shakespeare of a wordsmith. <laughs> Holy moly. My recommendation is to get the powdered form, not the pills, and take a tablespoon worth this mixed into water again. every morning, three months on, one month off, and repeat. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, the, like, now I'm back at it again. <laughs> Scooping the powder. <laughs> all right, I'll be right back. Go to the store real quick. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a maca powder. It's a maca powder. Butler said Butler up to <laughs> Elias Vape Shop. <laughs> uh, bring us home another big bag. Oh, bring back that. Sweet bag of load Remember powder. We had that felon in here that was telling us about how we did poof competitions. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll talk about it. Oh, oh sorry. Still potentially be a yeah. oh, Okay, okay. <laughs> you never know. Right. You never know. New owner comes. Yeah. Oh, we, sorry. Might, we might be know. back there. Uh, <laughs> why? Okay. They mm-hmm. got the Puffco Plus on sale right now. Do guys like <sighs> shooting big loads or do you not care? I mean, I would prefer to shoot a bigger load than a small load because I, I think it feels like you're getting more done. It's more productive. Is it a better release? It's like a cough. I like a productive cough. I don't like to cough and it be dry and there's nothing there. I like to feel like I'm getting something done. I don't think it feels necessarily different. I oh, think it does. they both feel the same. Not to me. But <laughs> the one's more of a cleanup, one's not. It, That's what I'm. I saying. like to. Dr- I like to it, feel like it's still coming out, and then I like for my wife to use her Kegel muscles to squeeze no, me. Like, I'll do, I'll do a, like, I'm still inside of her and I'm finished, no, right? come on. And I'll give it a, like that, and so I'm moving <laughs> it up. I, do, I give it, like, an up. I get a, mm. come oh, on. Oh, yeah, when you make it dance. Yeah, yeah I make right. it go up, and then she, to, like, to commemorate that, like, it's, like, it's she does a key yeah, it's, it's communicating with her genitals, she will squeeze me. <laughs> with a kegel, and, yeah. And then I'm like, and we're Scene. done. And that's yeah. it. And then she goes wow. to the toilet, and then I pull yeah. the sheets over me, fall asleep, dried to my belly. Um, <laughs> do girls look at that and think, okay, because there is... Look some, at what? All right, let me ask you Your this. puddle. Um, There's no puddles in my house. The, Everything oh. goes in. It, <laughs> oh, 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 you got him. You got him. You, I saw his eyes. <laughs> my God, you got him. His eyes. <laughs> um... Well, I can't. <laughs> yes, you, you got, got him. him. You got him. How? Wow. wow. Normally that's me. I think you're better at it because you're a lady. I, uh, so it's come to my attention that... Uh, <laughs> come the, to your attention? What are you there? The, oh, the, oh. The, 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 <laughs> well, no. You sound like, it has come to my attention that somebody did not fold the flag yesterday at camp. That it's, <laughs> it's a thing that um, if you're a man and say you're with your wife or your girlfriend or whoever... And then you're not able to finish. Oh, yeah. Had that happen two nights ago. Some girls take it as it's them. 
You know, like oh, yeah. it's something like that as an insult. No, my um, wife, my wife is understandable. I'm on medication, and sometimes I think it, that's a, either yeah. a young girl thing or an insecure thing. Because mm. I mean, once you've been around the block, you you realize that'll happen every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But it's like I get understand. Just made myself sound like a slut. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. But I can understand. You like to fuck the you logic. Like fuck. I like. Fucking. I like penis. My friends like, like fucking. fucking. <laughs> I can understand the logic behind it as the woman because you're like, like oh, what's wrong with right. me? Why? Like, a guys Does it are, not feel good. Guys are so thing. horny. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're self conscious about it or yeah. whatever, you know. So, in that same logic, if you do uh, have some gigantic load. Do women look at that as if that is a Better. sign oh, yeah. that you liked it more? No. No, no but I wish they did. We don't it, take that into account at all. Okay. Yeah. She probably just thinks you're really hydrated. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I haven't, you know, I've had limited experience. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm just throwing it out there. No. Uh, um, I've never once heard a female yeah. say that at all. Uh, or anybody. And I, and I liked it so, once I could, uh, once all uh, all things go in, as, as Sam says. That's I think just, we actually prefer less, just because, again, yeah. Like, Less what? to swallow, less yeah. to clean up. Yeah. Then, then I go the Turn other way. If that is not <laughs> the case, then having big loads. Uh, yeah, I think it's seems... a, a male ego thing. Yes, yeah, because it's all about in the yeah, porn when they those, do it. And no, like those girls videos, the music, that little thing that starts playing before the porn, and it's these pills you take. And then it's like a little squirt of gel, and then all of a sudden a gallon of gel just starts <laughs> blasting the laptop and ruining it. Mm. And they say you can buy that. I've never once looked at that and been like, you know what? I think that's what I need. <laughs> I think I need. I want to pee when I come. Yeah, I yeah. need a lot <laughs> of it. I want my balls to be the size <laughs> of regulation oh, man. Uh, yeah. basketballs. Um, let's do one last voicemail, uh, and then we'll take a break right. and do some dumb amount. You guys may not like this one. I got a hot take for you. I think Jim from Lakeland is one of the most annoying callers wow. in the history of the show. I hate his voice, and I hate his stupid fucking stories. Oh. Tom and Dan and Butler. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh. Them's fighting words, sir. Oh. 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 He's our friend. <laughs> Jim's going to fuck you up. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say about that. Jeez Louise. And I had one from Jim. I had a spicy email from Jim to counter, so we'll end with this. Uh-huh. This is Jim. Tom and Dan, <laughs> Butler and Sam. Old Jim from Lakeland here. Okay, I do hate this one. It does seem that most of my calls involve discussions of how old I am. But, to be fair, Selma Hayek and I are only in our mid-50s. And much like Selma Hayek, I receive compliments on my big naturals. Uh, (laughs) But the people of Polk County are referring to my teeth. Love you guys. Bye-bye. How do you hate that guy? How do you hate him? He made a big milkers joke. Or big natural show. I uh, I feel like some people I, it, trolls are kind of like this, where they just hate everything. Mm. Um, oh, no, Bye. No. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. <laughs> Dan, <don't. laughs> well, we don't need to hear that. Let's get to the good shit. Uh, okay. All right, let's take a break. When we come Sorry back, that. no, it's all good. We'll uh, we'll do some dump them out, and uh, we won't make this a three hour show again because <laughs> uh, we, we love doing oh, yeah. it. Uh, Sam, you heard of the band, the Raging Nathans? No, they're a wonderful band. The name of the song is "Waste My Heart." We'll be back with more Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. one eight four four T O M N D A N show at TomandDan.com is the email address to write us something. Bye-bye. Buying anything right now seems to be a pain in the ass, right? Well, <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing's in stock. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Like, there's nothing to... Like, wood cost $1,000, yeah. nothing's in stock, there's yeah. no employees. <laughs> yeah. like, I don't know what the fuck is happening. <laughs> anyway, if you want an easier experience, just go talk to Mike Stacks at Sport Subaru, Sport Mitsubishi, yeah. right there in West Coast. He's Colonial there, Drive. we've confirmed that. Yes. Yeah, he's working, he likes to work, he's and, there. And he will help you, and you'll get a good personal experience, yeah. because he'll know if you tell him you're Tom and Dan listener or a BDM, he's going to be like, oh, great, I'm going to treat you VIP, because that's what I do to Tom and Dan listeners and VIPs. Yeah. Subaru side, BDMs. Mitsubishi side, that's Mike Stacks. Another person currently employed, he likes to work as well, yeah. J.C. Harrelson. He is on the Chevy side of things, so yeah. if you want a Silverado like Tom, 
Yeah, yeah. If you want to, you know, get, get Corvette, a, get any a nice Chevy truck, yeah. any Chevy, you know, uh, Traverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My That's wife's a got a Traverse. Darn fine automobile. You can go see J.C. Harrelson, and he will take very good VIP care of you. Listen, I have personally, me and my wife, have purchased five vehicles from these two dealerships. Mm-hmm. I purchased three from Sport Subaru, Sport Mitsubishi, and two from Don Mealy Chevrolet in Claremont. And they're great. Uh, they give me the best price, uh, the best customer service, and... And that's what you need when you're looking to buy a vehicle. People you could trust and talk to. Yeah. And, you know, you're not going to get a, uh, a sales pitch or anything. Well, These guys, once they know, just call them up and... You've broken the ice because yeah. they already know that you're one of ours. Yeah. You know, one of our guys. And uh, they're going to treat you better. They just are. They'll do it over email. Uh, they'll make the process super easy. Uh, tons of BDMs. I mean, they've been a sponsor for over... Five, six years now? Like, I, like I, the I time is gonna, you. Yeah, yeah. I have a bad memory. I thought they were brand new. And so just go and talk to them. It's uh, Mike Stacks over at Sports Subaru and Sports Mitsubishi right there on West Colonial Drive. And J.C. Harrelson on oh. Don... Oh, oh you're, ah! you're right. Yeah! You were running out of gas at the end. <laughs> And I love yeah! <laughs> the Viking scream. <laughs> Whatever. You guys know. You know. And we're back. What do you want to do now, buddy? Let's do some dump them out. All right. The dump them out, the segment that keeps on dumping. Dump, dump, dump them out. Dump, dump them out. Everybody. Dump, dump them out. Dump them out. Oh, yeah, Don't step you. on the mo. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Now, I was late on the mo. That's my fault. The DeWitt Law Firm. If you're injured on the go, just call Mo. Or do what I I, I, I thought of a new phrase for him. I want to say, just do it. Oh, I, okay, I like that. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah, just do it. Like, just do, do, it. Yeah, yeah, do, yeah, it. do yeah, it. Just do it. I like that. You gotta, yeah, just do like, it. Yeah, with a little accent. Yeah, with like a yeah, swoosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, with a, a swoosh. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, email that to Mo. Yeah, email it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Butler. Just do it with the swooch. Yeah, or uh, swooch <laughs> <laughs> with that swooch. He may have done that in one of his ads before. Um, possibly, or uh, check out our TikTok, mm. uh, Tom mm. and Dan Live, because Butler's been uh, putting up funny videos of man. I'm a little boy. I am a little little man. Well, Ron's a big man. He is, but I mean, it's videos like that. The one I watch them, me feel I'm small. like, how do I protect my wife if anything ever happens? <laughs> like, oh, you cannot. No. Yeah, she'll have to protect me. <laughs> Uh, speaking of Butler, um, this first uh, dump them out topic okay. about weight, Olympic weightlifting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I've got a couple uh, things okay. to talk about with Butler. Do you remember how the story yeah, 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 went yeah. down? Okay. Yeah, you could, uh, you could yeah, describe it. Yeah, I'll pepper it. in, yeah, but, yeah. but uh, yeah, mm-hmm. go ahead. I think we, who were we talking to? Uh, was it, we were on the show? We no, were talking it, was after, just, it was after the show. We shut everything down and we're in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're, we were talking so, about uh, my toes. your toes and the bet was, or the... The the topic at hand was how much money would it take for Butler to chop off that long, the disgusting toe. eagle toe he has, yeah, the claw yeah, toe. Yeah, yeah. And I slept on it, I would say a million. Uh, okay, so okay, he came down. He did say, okay. like, he, he I said, said a billion. A billion. <laughs> a billion. <laughs> He's acting like a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I thought I'd buy yeah. a new house yeah. and then at least some cool stuff. And we were mad at him because we're like, you're not playing, you're being a baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then he decided to play. And then, but then he's like, I can't get rid of this. Uh, I can't get rid of my eagle toe. He's like, yeah, I need that. Uh, I do a lot of Olympic weightlifting, and I need my toes for gripping. And I'm like, what the, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I said that. That's exactly. I don't start with the Olympic weightlifting. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, you know who does Olympic weightlifting? Uh, Olympians, Olympians yeah. <laughs> are training for the Olympics. Yeah, you just go to a shitty CrossFit gym near your house, then and lift. No, not that it's shitty. I'm just saying you. That, you go to a warehouse and you not, use your buddy Ralph's weight. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. You're just lifting some yeah. weights in a warehouse. Yeah, and then you jump on a couple boxes, <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. you go to Fed Henry. I'm doing some snatches, and I'm doing some thrusters, and we're doing all that. Also, uh, I, there's another thing um, that's on the list that's the last, but I'll, I'll talk to you about it now. So Butler doesn't ha- Okay. Do you... You know how you poor, can... Poor, poor, poor Butler. <laughs> I feel like most human beings can gauge whether, or, like, they can figure out what topic they should bring up with mm-hmm. a, their coworkers or like a, another person. Especially, oh, man, this is going to be mean. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's well, it's not, not going to be nice. Are you are are you outlining the things he should ask you about and the things he <laughs> no. should not ask you about? I'm the, no, it's fine to small. Are you talk. dictating <laughs> his small talk? Now? No, no, no. Oh, micromanaging There's no free speech around here. I know. No, 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 oh, no. God, no. I'm just saying, like, it's fine. You're you're it's like Ellen around. Around here, man. Yeah, you're, toxic, <laughs> no, toxic as shit. you're at work and you're just uh, bullshitting with your coworkers or whatever. I bullshit with you, yeah. That's fine, but, but I know I do know what to bullshit about. Yeah, but that, yeah, that's the thing. I know the parameters. You don't know the parameters. You fuck it all up. So I feel like <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Butler's been around here for years. He's been around here like six years. Yeah, now, like how long now? Six years. How long now? has it been? Yeah, yeah. Uh, been I think I'm a year less than he, you, but I've been here. For 12 years. <laughs> He's been. Yeah. I think he was here when I quit my job. Insane amount of time. Way longer than I can even he, imagine. It's like sh- The Shining. Like, we, I have a black and white oh, yeah. He's been here of me and my mom and dad. I was a baby and butlers in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping grave digger. He's like a Tom and Dad flag. We, we weren't even doing the Tom yeah. and Dad show. He's got a villain Tom and Dad <laughs> flag. <laughs> we didn't even right. work with villain. So, uh, needless to say, I feel like. You know mm. what my likes and dislikes are, right? I yep. like, or you have a general idea. Okay, you know, I apologize well, to you. I, I thought you were going to be a little bit mean, but knowing the amount of time that he's been here, and I think Samantha even picked up on that a little bit, yes, there is. there are certain things that he would have picked up on by now to know... What's going to even move the needle? Yeah, yeah, What's going to yeah. possibly be annoying? Maybe going to break your normal morning routine? I try to give you a little distance yeah. in the morning. I mean, morning. Daniel, no, when he texts me, he'll, he'll start off with a gambling, like, hey, uh, the, yeah, you know, gotta, yeah, what's yeah, up yeah. with Pitts? Reel him in a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. No matter yeah. what, I'll be like, oh, Julio Jones trade, and then I'll, I know I got him. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll go, and, switch. They, and then I'll go, oh, my God, our app is melted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, the studio <laughs> computer is smoking. All right. So, anyway, that's all. I, I just feel like most... Most people, and then I started thinking, I was like, maybe this is a chopper thing. Anyway, I'm sitting there. This happened earlier today. Uh, I'm sitting there just minding my business, like <laughs> trying to look how many BDMs we lost. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you guys like, leaving us? Yeah, you guys got to bring a friend. Yeah, yeah, please. Bring a friend. Come and back. then I'm like, oh, it's down again. Uh, not like Bitcoin. Never either. comes yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. Down. <laughs> Always down. Anyway, so I'm just uh, stressing out. Like I'm just typing, typing. And then uh, Butler slides over in his chair because he sits next to me. And it's on wheels. <laughs> it's on wheels. And he's like, uh, hey. Hey, boss. He's like, hey, I've been uh, uh, been painting this helmet for three days now. Um, and then he's showing, he's already got a video of it up on his phone. Yeah. And then, the video I made of I put some Doja Cat in the background. <laughs> I don't want to be a dickhead and not look at like it. Like, but what, you want to do the Jay Cutler. <laughs> well, yeah, but yeah. I can't. Well, I caught you looking down to your toes while I was <laughs> Why don't you just say, I don't have time for this bullshit? I <laughs> don't, no, because I'm not a complete dickhead that mm. is going to say that to Butler. So then I have to look at it, and then he's like, um, I've been uh, painting it for weeks. You see, I've used toothpaste to <laughs> make it look like dents on mm. this area. And I think I'm going to go home today, and, uh, you know, I'll just uh, garner some ins- inspiration, and then, uh, you know, uh, keep painting it. with. It. And it's like, I'm... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at him, nodding like, my head. Your kids, and your kids are Matt. telling you some nonsense. The whole like, time, oh, okay. the whole time, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, what is he thinking? Does he think I, is he fucking with me? Because then no, I start getting no. mad because I'm like, he's bullying me, I think. This could be my <laughs> fault because when you say those things to me, I'm the exact opposite. Mm. No, I, I know I know it bothers Tom. I'm <laughs> receptive to it, even though... I feel exactly the same as Tom. <laughs> I'm psychotic enough and can disassociate one half of my personality to engage with you mm-hmm. while I'm hating you at the same time. 
and I'm able to lie Butler to you. Butler knows and, when to cut it off with me. He'll I'm, straight up be like, okay, you stopped listening, I'm and then a, turn around. Well, you will stop listening. Yeah. I can lie to Butler and make him think I'm listening. And that's what makes you a bad friend. <laughs> yeah, you're worse. You're an enabler. You're an enabler. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, you're I'm the, the Tom. Ones. I'm doing yeah. what Tom yeah. normally does. So is it the the, the chopper... You know, because we've we've yeah. he realized. chops right through the fact that you're uninterested. Yeah, okay, this, yeah. okay. So like, because he's going to tell you what he wants. Well, to tell no, you. he's going to tell you no matter what. Because, right, that's what like, I'm saying. He chops right through he's me. Gonna right through you, you, he's like, going to tell you whatever he wants to tell you, regardless if you want to hear it. I, I, like, do you uh, in normal situations? I think he needs friends too, the, just like you. You have nobody to talk to. But what I don't have any friends. Like, do you yeah, guys friends? Like, I usually I and I would call you guys friends, but I don't like any of the dumb shit. Right. That's why none of us hang out with each other. I got Star Wars and Plant Geek over here. <laughs> as, as soon as the show's done, yeah, we all get yeah, up mad and yeah. walk, walk our yeah, separate directions. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And no to you, you guys. Yeah. Lo- no, yeah. Neither of you guys are horny or want to fuck or go to strip clubs or anything. That's all I want to do. We turned into every other radio show we did. where everybody did. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Yeah. Right, this is just naturally, it's naturally happened. It just naturally happens. Yeah, naturally There's happened. no way out of it. Uh, but anyway, I, I feel like I tailor my conversation to the environment well, I'm in. Talk anymore. There's no conversation. No, that's that's true. Not he comes here. in. He comes in. He'll give me a yo, a yeah. long yo. He'll give me a long yo. He'll go right to his desk. And you would, if I didn't say one word, you would stare at your computer <laughs> for three hours, and then at eleven fifty-five, you would walk in here and be like. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> I gotta work on that. I I, I realize that it's that's not weird. weird. No, it's, no, not. Not. it's exactly. just weird. No, I know because I uh, anyway. Long, I'm sometimes, crazy. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, yes, sometimes I'll, I'll be in here. I just, I'm like, I'm working yeah. now. Then now's the show. <laughs> and now back to work. Sometimes <laughs> when I'm in here and he's working in there and I don't want to say anything and I'll just sit here and I'll and I'll listen. I'll be like, Wait, he's he might be fucking dead in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like it's so quiet. Mm-hmm. And all of us are scared. I'm just one. Like, All of us are scared of you. I don't know if you know that. I, one so day he's gonna snap. Yeah, one day you're gonna snap. Yeah, no, we're that's all, not we're all snap. No. You're too quiet no. over there. I mean, it's just too quiet. I heard yeah, you yeah. scream at the end of uh, the Subaru commercial today, <laughs> no, yeah. and I got real scared. Uh, well, that's because gave me flashbacks yeah. of my childhood. <laughs> I, so, Butler, when you're in a like in in any environment, do you mm-hmm. look around and you're like, "All right, read I, the room." I shouldn't. <laughs> bring, yeah, like, how's your room reading uh, skills? Uh, I think they're pretty good. No. <laughs> they're pretty good. I, to differ a bit. I, I feel like uh, because like I, I'm at the insurance convention last week. I'm not bringing up vaccines or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm not bringing right. up politics. No. No. You know, like I, I read the room. Yeah. Like, I, like I stick to uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, I know where I'm at. Had some paperwork from my mom's beach house. Probably getting rid of it. A lot of old people. I didn't bring up anything. I dressed appropriately. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say a word. I didn't have a flat brim hat. Hat on. I had my <laughs> tattoos covered. Yeah, I was yeah. as uh, inconspicuous. I, my hair combed like Ron DeSantis. I was <laughs> literally just like regular Johnny. Uh, uh, yeah, so you, you I'm, I'm adding that to the chopper list. Uh, cannot read room. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a little bit on a spectrum. Uh, yeah, uh, I know. I mean, I, I feel like I, it's my actually my gig is over now because I feel like I've been long conning for like six months. I just all I do is talk Star Wars to you. I know you hate it. <sighs> I feel like it's genuine. <laughs> like, I, yeah. like I feel like yeah, you forget that I hate Star Wars well, and then you, you start. I, I think you're the, forgetting I was a child actor. <laughs> the only <laughs> <laughs> we've not seen any of your work though. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. asked you which episode of Dawson's Creek was on. You didn't know. Oh, oh, yeah, I want to fact yeah. check this acting. You, well, everything you sent us he says a picture. Been a lie. You went to your parents' house. You I sent us a, a picture. Shot? Yeah, your old headshots. <laughs> you were twelve, by the way. Yeah. So uh, how long ago was it? And I feel like it's. Something, I was eighteen. It's something your parents bought you at. Owen Mills in the because <laughs> <laughs> you're old well, enough for that. He wants to be an actor. Just get him the headshots. Um, what is White Claw and Weed? The best combination ever. Nah, right. Yeah, I agree uh, I'm writing a song called White Claw and Weed. It's Ooh. all I need. All right, I'm in. So that's all I just wanted to say. No, okay. If you want right. to help me with the lyrics, I sub- gotcha. submit your trashy lyrics to show at TomAndDan.com. I will say that that is a beautiful combination. White Claw and Weed mm-hmm. is all that I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, gonna be a I'll country. help you with that. It's gonna be. I would like yeah. that. We've never done a song together. Right. A lot of people don't know that. We should do that together. Maybe we can do like a, a Kenny Rogers, Dolly Parton scenario. Hell yeah. Like an Islands in the Streams type, type deal. No, I've seen this before. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. There, yeah. Park yeah. Trash. Oh, never mind. Yeah. We will yeah. not they do they that. They all, they all hate each other, yeah. too. <laughs> My love is not like hot yeah. dog soup. Uh, they're all still doing it, too. Uh, yeah. Big what is David Blaine Poop? 
Oh, okay. This, uh, I, I, I know that people have probably brought this up before. I don't fully understand the anatomy of the modern day toilet because my favorite poop is the poop where you poop it and it shoots <laughs> in the hole and up and around it and it already in the that's sewer. Cool. Like, it's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> and that's my favorite poop the because you, yeah, you look in there and there's nothing in go? there. And even if you flush, there's nothing. It's already gone up and over the hump. Because I always think in the toilet, it goes in the hole, and then it has to go over the turn hump, yeah. and then into the pipes. Yeah, yeah. Then, then you're like, did I even poop? And then you're like, oh, I did. There's blood. <laughs> oh, my so, God. Just me. Sorry. Oh, my God. Like someone sells shotgun shit in our Jeez. toilet. Jeez. That's, That's, That's been me this week. That's <laughs> bad. The sides this week, that was me. That was oh, me. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, used to, it, it, it used to be Kramer, but not me. <laughs> 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 it's me, hundred percent me. What do you want to talk about? Your mom's beach house. Uh, you forgot. <laughs> forgot about that. No, White Claw yeah. and weed made him forget. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Tommy puked in a McDonald's bag. Oh, we are yeah. not good people. Um. So, my wife and Tommy are uh, playing you. <laughs> no, 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 me and Max. Oh, by the way, well, that makes sense. I, I was scrolling through it's my Max TikTok and, and uh, Max was looking over my shoulder and then he's like, go back. And then I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, go back to the bikini. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's my And then, and then I scrolled to back and it was a Dare Taylor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 I take a screenshot of the only and then I'm, and then we watched the video together and I, was, I felt like it was a bunny. You know what? You know what? <laughs> and While like, you Whoa. and Butler are uh, doing whatever you're doing because you're uh, both angry and getting me and Max and Super Dave in the slingshot. <laughs> The kitty car <laughs> That would be so fun. He, he's, he's, he uh, seemed to like it, which doesn't make any scientific sense, but uh, he's like, go back to the bikini. Anyway, that was it. Oh, I love um, it. Oh, that's a great story. Oh, so anyway. Um, you were talking about Tommy. Tommy peeked yeah, yeah. in the McDonald's. So, uh, which is the exact opposite of <laughs> watching bikini girls with yeah. your dad on TikTok. Tommy likes it, too. Dude, that's not yeah. cool. you got to show him the bikinis, too. Uh, yeah. Fair he, is fair. He likes share it. the bikini. You guys need to share uh, fucking so, Seth's girls only. <laughs> So uh, we're driving down to Miami, and uh, they the boys are watching their Kindles, right? And it's a recipe for Tommy to get car sick if he starts mm-hmm. looking at shit uh, like that. Yeah. Yeah. I get like that if I read an I- iPad. Yeah, Crystal can't look at her phone that long. I can't either. And so she's been. That's why she main, mainly drives this time. Um, and she was driving too. Uh, but because she gets car sick, if I drive, like I rarely have ever driven. Well, you're herky jerky drive. too. Like <laughs> yeah. that's why she gets car sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she claims yeah. that I drive like yeah, an you, asshole, you do. and it's my fault. But I'm careful. You drive like man. you have no gauge of. of like, you drive like your your how do brakes work? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, like his leg. It is, doesn't seem that way, like but you, everybody tells me it. So like, it has to be true. Yeah, your yeah, WRX yeah. was pretty rough. Yeah. You don't have a lot of precision with your pushing of your legs. Everything is. Stiff, he's yeah, stiff. Yeah, so like it's when all you, or nothing. Yeah, it's like <laughs> slamming it, slamming yeah. the brakes, slamming the gas, slamming I, the brakes. I, I can't. It, it's a one hundred percent zero. <laughs> There's yeah. no in between. Uh, anyway, so I'm driving, and then Tommy uh, is like, "I don't feel good." No. And then we're like, "Put down the Kindle, look straight." <laughs> like you know, like and Crystal was yelling at him uh, about like uh, things that she does. She's like, um, "You know, don't look at the Kindle anymore. Like yeah, look, look straight. Out the window. Look out the window. Whatever." And like all, bur- yeah, breathe. Drink some water. Slap your cheeks. But I turned around. He's white. <laughs> like oh. he played it for too long. And then uh, I love that feeling. And he's like, I'm getting sick. And we had McDonald's back. Here's because, the thing. Hmm? You know that he gets car sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why give him the? Accent? Why do you not already have some type of puke bag for Stop him it. to have? He's never. Stop it, Andrea. <laughs> he's never actually puked. Okay. Oh, good boy. He just it, felt so far. Sick. Yeah, he's okay. always and Crystal too. She always she, she's Crystal's never just physically me thrown we just up. Feel like shit. Yeah, yeah. she feels she feels I don't like puke. Everyone. It just gives me a headache. Yeah, that's so, what happens to my husband. Yeah. So that's normally what happens, and but this time he's white, like uh, as coming. a sheet. I'm yeah. like, oh shit. And then he's like, I feel sick. And then he's like, start slobbering. Oh, him. wet mouth. And then Chris is like, I'm pulling over, but we're on, uh, not, like, I think 95 or whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 
and, and so I, I looked down, and then there's, we got him some uh, two Happy Meals on yeah. the trip. Oh, don't make a puke in his Happy Meal box. Trip. No <laughs> longer a Happy Meal. And then I picked up the McDonald's bag, and there's just some Don't nap- puke on your apple slices. There's some napkins <laughs> and stuff, and I, 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 I take my seatbelt off, lean over, and I put the McDonald's bag on it, and he starts puking in it. Oh, God. And then it starts landing oh. in my hand. Yeah, oh. you can feel it. Oh. Oh. Nuggies, and the old, the old I cannot thing. fucking have kids. This is and disgusting. you can feel the it's dampness. It's just a yeah. thin layer. Yeah. And for whatever reason, the McDonald's brown bag is not like the Publix brown bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking thin. Yeah, man. Thinner than any paper. Well, they're a billion part. dollar company. Yeah. 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 Every margin is like billions it, for them. It's fucking magician flash paper. Yeah. Thin. <laughs> yeah. And so immediately, I know I didn't have like that much time, right? Like it was fucking disintegrating this you McDonald's bag. right out the sunroof. <laughs> the so, stomach acid is eating through the paper. So yeah. as soon as Chris <laughs> pulled oh. over, I fucking threw I opened the door and placed it onto the uh, grass uh, next to 95, yeah. right? And, and uh, a homeless man said, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> thank you! I'm star. So tell me if this makes me a bad person. Yes. Um, it, it does. Uh, but I, I justified you it by saying... You and you go, fuck you! I, I said, I'll do some charity work or whatever, but I... Uh, I, I I fucking left that McDonald's bag. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. trash. You it's biodegradable. It. Yeah. No, you're fine. Yeah, but you know it's uh, still tr- McDonald's trash. Yeah, I'm right, and I get pissed every time I see trash. Yeah, but this is an emergency scenario. Uh, I don't think anybody. It, 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 I don't think anyone reasonable would think. And I'm being serious here. I have my serious mm. voice on. Yeah, yeah, I don't think anybody reasonable thinks you should uh, leave that in your car and drive with puke <laughs> smell all the way to Miami. No, well, or at least to a trash receptacle. I, no, I, I guess I could have drove to the next rest no. stop and. Uh, Thank properly, you, okay. okay, yeah. I, but I said I was like, I'll make this up somehow. I always drove away. Uh, yeah, you'll yeah, we'll make it okay. up already. I'm gonna give you ten more Star Wars stories. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Um, what's a uh, baby cheers, Sam? Oh, Allen? I uh, I've already used this once today. I like it, and uh, the tail end of it, I'm catching it right now on Cheers. Like we're in. We're still in uh, season two. We go real slow through shows. I only do like one or two a night or something like that. But anyways, the character of Sam Malone, he. Like, he does that thing that I think my dad would say, and it's to accentuate a particular catchphrase or to accentuate you getting somebody or saying something, you would throw baby on the end of it. Like we're yeah, open, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Why I, I put it on the list because it ties right into Tom screaming, "We're open, baby." And I said that that kind of I think I maybe even you told you Sam that that even just reminds me of my dad. Like my dad would say things like, "Remember uh, when Gringos Locos did the stashy?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And keep they might stashy, even still yeah. use it. Keep it stashy. And that my yeah, dad yeah. used to call like <laughs> if you were super stylish, my dad would be like, "I'm stashy, baby." And he'd throw a baby on the end of stashy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I like there's something I like about accentuating a phrase with baby on the end. So anyway, he's like breaking it. up with um I forget the the character. Um it's not it's not Sam Malone, the girl, Diane Chambers. They're breaking up, and and she's like, "I'm breaking up with you," and he's like, "Can't do that. I already did it, baby." <laughs> you know, and I was like, "Yeah!" Like, oh, yeah. there's something about <laughs> yeah. Old wrestlers used to do yes. Dusty Rhodes. Dusty yeah. Rhodes. Yeah. There's yeah. something I it like. morphed into brother, which is uh, brother's not as good. No, no, no. 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 The the baby brother's is... got a tinge of blizz piss on. I don't like it as much. <laughs> baby seems a little more harmless, and it can be male or female. It's yeah. Not, yeah, it, yeah, it's meaningless. It's literally just like it's like an exclamation point. It's harmless. It's like uh, we're doing that... it, baby. Yeah. Like I like it. Did that die, or is it still around? I mean, ice cream, we're open, baby, and but I, it doesn't. But it, it feels right to me. Maybe we're in a point in time where we're like, it just feels right to me. Anyway, yeah, I don't yeah. know why I wrote it down. But <laughs> I like it. I heard him say, and he did it a couple times. He's like, "You can't do that. I've already, I've already broken up with you, baby." <laughs> and it, because it felt very late seventies, early eighties, you know, it kind of yeah, had yeah. that, that kind of that, like, I'm cool, stash yeah. it, baby. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. no, I like silly, it. Silly. Um, Are we out of here? Yeah, we're out of here. Um, we're going to make it a uh, a smaller show today. because uh, We need to. We're trying to make it easier for you guys to consume our content. And if we do five-hour bonanzas, that doesn't really... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really yeah. doesn't do much. When we ha- when we have 25 hours of uh, content a week, yeah. <laughs> there's a part time Mondays, Monday's video, and I urge all of you, you can do me a huge favor if you go to YouTube right now, subscribe, like and subscribe, hit the alert button. I texted Butler. I, uh, Monday's video on YouTube is three hours and 47 minutes long. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah, basically yeah. released Titanic or <laughs> Avatar to it's you. More, longer than Avatar. It's huge. It is a massive. It was a 22 gigabyte show <laughs> when we finished. It's the Zack Snyder. Yeah. Uh, the Snyder <laughs> cut. It's yeah, the Snyder, Snyder, Snyder cut. cut. Yeah, we're trying to pull is that, back. Wait, hold on. Is that is anybody even sitting down for like three hours? They're, they're 40... literally all chanting three hour show no. in the chat. No, no, they, they can't. They can't be. No, they can't do that. You're some ruiners. Yeah. You, yeah. You're, yeah. you're yeah. ruiners. We you're taught not, you too well. No, we no, taught you too well. Nobody's sitting down and they're like three hours. But you have to understand, 40. they're all bored at their jobs right now that's trying right. to watch Twitch yeah, for some right. fun. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, I understand. Live, but I'm saying after, like Daniel's uploading these to YouTube. Yeah, so you they can get catch views, though. Yeah. Yeah. Like they get thousands of views yeah. after, so our, someone's watching them. Our but, Twitch feed gets a lot. Our Twitch feed's bigger than our YouTube feed. I'm trying to build our YouTube feed. Yeah. Is it just people fucking off at work? <laughs> is, yeah. that, is that what it is? Because uh, you're not watching that on your off time, right? <laughs> like, uh, like Daniel said, you're sitting down and watching a three hour and 40 minute. People, more, more, more. Don't leave us. Yeah. Three hour show. You know, I do consume a lot <laughs> of I'm okay podcasts. with five hours. I I'm do, here yeah. until five. I will tell you guys, though, I consume the majority of my podcasts I consume in video format now. I'm really? Just being honest with you, I watch, uh, like, um, uh, Nah Dude, uh, Pedro Lima's podcast. I was watching that last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when I watch uh, Big Tim's podcast, Radicalizing Rednecks, I watch that show on YouTube. See, I, I do like, everything audio. Me because too, because I'm, I'm doing chores or whatever. I'm like awesome driving. The dishes I'll, and... I'll put it on here and run the audio in here while a uh, show's rendering yeah, yeah, or something, yeah. and I can have it on in the background, yeah. you know? Mm. Like people do at work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, do yeah. exactly what you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that's what he's... Yeah, so yeah. it's fine. Three hours are fine. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, but we do have too much yeah. fucking We gotta content. get out of here. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get out of here. Anything else to plug? Semantics. Um, yeah, so if you want to hear more of Ron, we actually recorded with him last Sunday, but it yeah. will come out this Sunday. So nice. Ron will be on, as well as our friend from Fourth and Dirty Podcast, which is a fantasy football podcast. Jesse Madonna, he's I one of the hosts Jesse. of that show. He's a good man. Um, it was really fun, and I uh, listened to that after I miss party. that guy. I haven't seen him in a minute. He's actually going to reach out to you guys about a business proposal. So cool. Mm-hmm. I, he's, I like that. That guy's rad. Mm-hmm. I'd love to uh, work with him. Um, uh, Butler, anything going on at the, some watering holes? I think you heard his up? feelings. Like, I mean, no, I got a little, uh, no, we, we, actually, we, we have some new uh, watering holes possibly on the on the horizon that we're going to be uh, announcing in the next uh, week or so. So stay tuned with that. But uh, yeah, definitely just go out and support some of the watering holes. Bug Nutty out in Coco and uh, Mets Lounge out in uh, Volusia County, uh, Daytona area. Check them all out. And yeah. Yeah, check out that new True Leave in Winter Park. I went there yesterday. Yes, definitely uh, do that. We have some oh, big yeah. things we're working on with True Leave. Can't talk about it at all. Mm. But could There's, potentially be just the coolest thing we've ever done. I don't want to ruin it, but uh, but yeah, go hit them up and uh, make sure that you get in those. Uh, yeah, their brand new location on Loma in Winter Park. It's beautiful. Uh, it's beautiful. Right by the Jeremiah's there. Yeah. And that was working, by the way. We I might saw, have a Twitch chat meet up there. I saw a man uh, go in there, get his basket of goodies, and come right out, go to his truck, put it in his truck, and then walk directly to Jeremiah's. <laughs> I was like, it's working. <laughs> uh, it's working. Uh, let me get Genius. The, uh, the Fred Durf weed hat. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that hat. Yeah. That is my official Tom and Dan or uh, True Leave Lazy River hat. Yeah, you yeah. can wear it like Durst or you can wear it like uh, I, wear like it I did. Yeah. yeah, wear it up. I wear you it up. Put like, it on your head, Tom. Like Gilligan. Not on your hand. Like Blossom. <laughs> Oh, oh, there, yeah. it, oh, oh, there it is. Oh. You look like a baby. Look, you look like a baby. Look, it's the world's worst detective. <laughs> Insane in the membrane over there. Oh my God, With his a, little shorts in his hat, he looks like a baby. <laughs> when she walked into my office, it's a Inspector Shaggy 2 dope on the case. You literally, you literally look 10 years younger, dude. <laughs> you were wearing a truly weed fedora. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite thing you've You look like an old teen. <laughs> you do look like an old teen. <laughs> Why does it make me look younger? I don't know. Uh, this I is like what that. you need. I want to wear this on. If you grew a beard, you'd get so <laughs> fucked, dude. Anyway, if you uh, <laughs> use True Leave and fill out our form on TomandDan.com or the front of the BDM page, you'll get this uh, hat um, mailed to you <laughs> with some other Tom and Dan stuff. Look how I'm red. <laughs> Are you embarrassed to wear that? If I put it on, my head get hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for listening. We appreciate it. And bye-bye. Well, wait a minute. I, I can't publish that. It's um, mediocre.